Jordan's subjective. Jordan's subjective. Jordan's subjective perspective. <laughs> Let's go Chiefs real quick. You know how it is. <laughs> you just using this platform just to shout out your sports teams? <laughs> I use every hey, platform. Fuck the Blackhawks. I'm, hey, I'm gonna yeah. make sure my beers turn like this the whole time. <laughs> uh, oh, oh wait. you've been rooting for the Chiefs, so no, no, I root for it to help your. All right, well, help you because if I don't, you're you just, rooting for it because your Rams are sucking right now. All right, the Rams do suck right now. It's hard to watch, but if I don't root for the Chiefs, I get just ostracized by you and Chandler. <laughs> you guys are like, "Fuck you, McDonald! Just get out of here! You don't even want to watch it anymore." Well, yeah, you're the reason we lost last week. We were winning, then you left the room. I and went then to you take a shower. Two touchdowns. I went to take a shower, and Tennessee scored two touchdowns, and they blamed it all on me because <laughs> I'm such a huge Chiefs fan. <laughs> I mean. <laughs> I'm not superstitious. I'm just a little stitious, so. I'm just a little stitious. <laughs> just minorly stitious. Just, just a, a, a minute amount of stitiousness, <laughs> yes. So first drinking story. All right. Let's, Let's set the scene. Off. I got a good one, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to end it off. So Hop let, into it. I don't, I, we, do we, do we want to do the top one for the first, or we want to save the best for the last? I mean, I could start out with mine if you want yeah, me to. Yeah, you can hit yours, and then I'll go mine. All right, so first drinking experience. I mean, I, like, drank a few times before when I was younger. Obviously, everybody's had, like, the sips of beer at the table with your parents or whatever. I didn't, but so I guess that wasn't your first drinking experience. But okay, but either yeah. way, the first time I got, like, shit house wasted, I was going out with some buddies. I was 15, and my one buddy just got his license, so, you know, everybody's like, whoo, we're going to go Game drive. Time, baby. Yeah. yeah, going to this girl's party. It was her birthday party. And she had this fat shed outside of her house. It was kind of out there in Eureka. And uh, we go out there, and we're like, dude. Oh, and this girl was also a year younger. So we're like, dude, let's be badasses. Let's look cool. And we got one of my friend's older brothers. to. We gave him, We just pooled together money. We had 80 bucks. We're like, that should be enough to get, like, some alcohol, right? <laughs> <laughs> you know, not knowing anything. And he came back with, like, seven bottles of alcohol or, like, a six-pack of fifths. And we're like, oh, fuck, yeah. So we're drinking everything. We go back to my friend's house after the party. And uh, you have no idea how, like, what the measurements are oh, we also got too. Yeah, we also got kicked out of that party for having alcohol. Oh, really? <laughs> the girl's mom was like, get out of my house. <laughs> and we're like, oh, sorry. My buddy drove back. He was wasted. Definitely shouldn't have done that. We got back to my friend's house. And... Me and this girl are just hitting this UV blue, like, nonstop. I'm trying to be, you know, big dog, like, yeah, drank before, totally. Drink. Um, <laughs> and my That mom, goes down like water. That's a high school yeah, drink. Yeah. I don't know why. I, I don't see blue? that in college, but no, in high school, I see it again. all the time. Because everybody yeah. gets so burnt out off of it in high school. You're exactly. like, no way I'm doing right. that again. But uh, putting that blue syrup down my mouth. <laughs> the blue syrup, <laughs> the blue juice. But we loved it at the same time. It's like, oh, my God, this is so good. <laughs> right. So, anyways, this was actually the day after Lent, the day Lent ended. So, what is that? Uh, like Fat Tuesday or something? I have no idea. But, um, so, the day after know. Lent, and my mom gave up alcohol for Lent. So, of course, she has, like, all of her friends over that night for a party at my house. And my mom calls me at, like, midnight. She's like, oh, my God, come home, blah, 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 all this stuff. I was like, no way, I'm coming home. She's like, well... You have to come home. I was like, all right, fuck. <laughs> Total <laughs> mom move. <laughs> Get in. I'm sloshed. Make it past all my friends' moms. Or my friends' moms. My mom's friends. Get down to the basement. Think I'm in the clear. My mom calls on. Hey, can you help me turn on the DVD player? I'm like, fuck. Get up there in front of the entertainment system. My friends just passed out in the basement. And I'm trying to work with it. And I just... <laughs> Blue vomit <laughs> all over the entertainment system in front of my mom and oh, all of her friends. No. And my mom's friends are just like, oh, this is not good. <laughs> they started clearing I'm out. I'm just sick to my stomach, mom, I swear. Yeah, <laughs> yeah was, I drank too Had much bad Powerade. Food. Chinese, bad Chinese. <laughs> and so. I, I'm like getting over to the bathroom, just leaving a trail, like a slug trail behind <laughs> me. Of blue UV vomit, disgusting. <laughs> Get in the bathroom, just painting it in there. And my mom's friends all just leave. And I got the biggest ass chewing I've ever had. And I had to pay for a new entertainment system, which was like five hundred dollars. Oh, that, pay for new that entertainment. took me like my whole sophomore and junior year working at Lil Caesars in a banquet hall to pay for that. That <laughs> sucks. Terrible. Just battling out the hours at Lil Caesars oh my for God. a new entertainment system. Oh, man, it was terrible. But that was the first time first I one. got hammered. Yeah. And it was. 
terrible. I didn't drink for like a year after that. I was afraid. Jeez. Thought I don't I was blame you. Throw you up blue you're a juice freshman, every time. You were a freshman <laughs> in high school. Five hundred dollar repercussions. So- yeah, right. I was a sophomore, and this was in this in the fall before, and my birthday's in April, so turn sixteen in the spring. There we go. All right. Well, I guess it's time for mine now. Yeah, you so said you got a good one. Let's hear it. We gotta go for a little background story here. We'll start it off. So first of all, I went to a uh, private school from like uh, preschool all the way to eighth grade. So okay, I didn't know what weed was. Didn't know what booze was. Nothing. So went to a public high school here in Springfield, Glendale, and didn't know a single soul. So my first time drinking after a month, met some people around because I played sports, so I met some people. So we end up at our buddies, and you know how hard it is to get fucking alcohol when you're a high schooler. It's oh, like, oh my god, just like we're freshmen too, and I don't know anyone. I'm fucking 15 years old, fucking I don't know where to get alcohol. Boom, one of our buddies' brothers, he's old enough, coming through with a handle of aristocrats. Like, all right. I also think that's why both of our experiences probably went so bad because you're like, you don't have any way to get it. You have no way to get it. Once you have access to it, you're like, like, damn, game on. Game on. Let's go. Right, exactly. So we get the aristocrat. We're waiting for like 20 minutes. We're all just fucking, you know, fucking scratching our necks, just waiting, waiting for it. Finally get the aristocrat. Start taking pulls of it and everything. It's going down like fucking water. I'm like pretty impressed. It's my first time instead of handle aristocrat. I'm like, I guess beginner's luck. So. Get a little drunk, everyone gets a little sloshy. So we're at my uh, best friend's house, and uh, his best friend has a sister that is a year younger than us. So everyone... Your stories are sounding very similar. Very similar. (laughs) This one kind of takes a little bit of a turn. So uh, I get pretty drunk, and so, uh, like I said, they got the sister's room. Everyone's in uh, in his sister's room, whatever. So I'm like, all right, I'm going to go take a piss. Go to the bathroom, start taking a piss, you know, just doing my thing. All of a sudden, one of my buddies walks in, kid you not, slaps me right on the dick. Dick starts going, flinging everywhere, piss everywhere, all over my boxes, everything. I'm like, what the fuck? He starts running off. <laughs> Pull my pants up, finish the piss. Slaps me right in the dick. <laughs> I'm like, what the fuck? Where, where? All right, let's see where this goes. I got to so, say, I don't think I've ever been slapped in the dick. It it was at least not intentionally. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> it was my first time, but I don't think it was my last. So. <laughs> <laughs> we'll give it that. We'll give it that. Uh, so, slaps me in the dick, get pissed all over my boxers. Well, I'm, I'm fine than everyone. Everyone's in uh, his our the little uh, the sister's room. So, they're ch- all ch- chilling in there. Walk into the room. His sister is sitting right on the bed, right like this. So I walk in. Oh, God. Walk in right like this. His sister <laughs> is sitting like on the bed, no intentions. I go, hey, Dylan, uh, uh, you got any boxers I can borrow? Uh, Spencer, like, made me pee all over my pants. Right as he did that, the dude that slapped my dick comes up and pantses me. Oh. So his brother turns around and sees my his sister with my fucking cock and balls, everything right in it. His sister's mouth. So he turns in around. In his mouth. Whoa, whoa. Wait, wait, yeah. oh, no, no, back it up, back it up. I'm sorry. <laughs> whoa. The sister was sitting on the bed, saw it, or and then the, the brother turned around and saw my fucking cock and balls in front of his sister's mouth because I got pants. Uh-huh. Did not so obviously that's not behavior. good right there. So he thinks I'm trying to do something. He didn't hear what I said. He comes over me, fucking clocks me right in the face, dude. No. I go down. I stand up, knock him out, fucking. He goes down. Brother, sister, war now, baby. Now we go. Sister comes up, boom, knees me right in the fucking balls. That's how it was. That's how it was. <laughs> fucking knees me in the balls. I go down like this. She fucking takes me by the head, pounds me, knocks me out. So Let alone backstory. Kicked. This girl is in uh, the uh, military school now. So holy I shit, absolutely got my shit wrecked. Yes, <laughs> I'm, I'm, dude, she need me in the balls and then fucking just. I was like, oh, and then fucking just knocked me out right there. Mom walks out. Oh god, my fucking pants, pants are are my fucking yes. ankles. You're like, what the fuck is going on in here? <laughs> and she's like, cool with it. And then they're fucking. So like the next day, I'm like, yo guys, like fucking don't tell anyone. Like. Like, that didn't happen, right? <laughs> Next day at school, my freshman year, <laughs> hey, Huff, heard you got your ass kicked by a girl. <laughs> like, fuck, dude. So that was my first time drinking right there. Got my ass kicked by a girl. Got your ass kicked <laughs> by a girl with your pants down. With my pants <laughs> off. Was it your first time getting finished off by a girl, too? <laughs> I don't know. She knocked me out. She was, I don't know if she went down or not. <laughs> Wait, where was the dude that pants you? Like, was he just watching all this watching, go down? Laughing. Probably just laughing. <laughs> oh, what an <laughs> asshole. <laughs> he tried to jump and fell down the stairs at one point in that night, if that tells you where his mindset was at. So, okay. Right. 
<laughs> I should have punched him. I mean, he was the one that got me in that situation right there. <laughs> That's crazy. I know. Wait, why did the girl, if the girl knew, okay, here, so the here, brother didn't no, know here's what, here's why. that so you got the, pants. The girl saw me punch Dylan, which is her brother, and she's like, oh, you can't punch my brother, oh, and was like, and game just on. knocked the shit right. out of you. Yeah. And the brother thought I was trying to fucking put my dick in his sister's mouth. <laughs> it's like, which is not the situation at all. <laughs> Those are crazy stories. Yeah. Those are crazy what stories. What about you, Jordan? Yeah. I think okay. Mine was I, I remember somewhat vividly. I was fourteen. I was hanging out with this group of friends that were kind of like not the bad kids at school. Like, I don't, we we didn't have like terrible kids in my school, but they were considered like kind of the, you know, the like the the popular group that's and then more into the, the, more the, like the drugs kind of yeah. shit. Right. Uh, so this is freshman year of high school. And yeah, we pretty much same deal. We had he had an older brother who had access to alcohol as well, and then we just started going hard on like the vodka, and I think, I think it was four locos as well. Ooh, so we yeah. started throwing Ooh. back some four locos. I will okay, not drink right those now. That's like the one thing I will just oh, not I drink. Will never. I feel like I've seen you drink a four loco in the past years. I don't. I've seen someone maybe maybe early on like at I, your I, old place in the backyard. Oh, I swear. Maybe a sip. Because Trud was on those four loco grinds for a second. He was. He was into shotgunning four locos. Yeah, that's <laughs> disgusting. I've yeah. seen someone shotgun a four loco with an egg yolk in it, expired egg. What was that Jeez. McConnell? Yeah, I was thinking the same Tommy. thing. Yeah, Tommy's own. Oh yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I know him. He I also know him. he also beer bonged three four locos, <laughs> and then fell off a porch. Oh wow! It that that'll no happen when you fuck. <laughs> I feel like fuck those around. two things would go together perfectly. Yeah, know? I'm not yeah, super surprised. Old, you've right. never heard like, oh yeah, beer bong three four locos, great night. Great night. <laughs> <laughs> everything ended perfectly. I remember everything it was great. <laughs> just sat sat around playing some Fortnite. <laughs> right. and, uh, just a nice relaxing. chill night. <laughs> I think I, I, went I to class the next day. It was great. <laughs> yeah, good point. <laughs> the next day was so productive. Let me tell you about that day. <laughs> That's what I, I really want. That's what I did. Four locos <laughs> in that was the next day was even better. It's crazy. Yeah, yeah. It's pretty much pretty much just pretty basic night. I just remember being drunk. I do remember asking my friend because he had been more experienced with drinking. It was like my first time, but he had drank a few times before that. And I'm like, hey man, like, is this gonna be out of my system by Monday? <laughs> and it was Friday night, and he's like, yeah, yeah, you're, dude, you're good. For what sure. if I, what if the high school drug tests me? <laughs> I, I I heard I heard Timberland's gonna drug test this way. I, I, I gotta know. be on the soccer team. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> That's funny. Do you guys like the stash? I I do. I usually don't have. A, I guess you wouldn't know. I usually I'm don't say, have usually a mustache. Rock clean, clean shave. That or like a beardish. I usually try just try and go for the five o'clock shad. I like it. I like five it. Five o'clock shadow. I haven't I haven't done no facial hair in a long time. Really. Man, I just go baby face. I, yeah, I and my use, game, like talking to girls, just goes down the hill because they're always like down the hill. You, <laughs> I, I didn't think I could go down the hill any more than it already is, brother. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. okay, we're on a podcast oh, right oh, now. We don't oh, want to get into oh, this. Oh, all right. oh, 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 no, 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 okay, no, okay, no, okay. Oh, 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 oh. lower in the arm. Lower in the arm. What What happened last night? I don't know. I blacked out. Couldn't tell you. We'll drop it at that. Well, I'll speak honestly. I feel like Connor McDonald pulls, so uh, I will say that. I got a pretty good game. I, I really do. I think uh, I think you've always out. been good know. with women, so <laughs> might want to clip that out. Who knows? Okay. <laughs> we'll, we'll just, should we just settle it? I don't, settle want, my, I don't want my future settle wife on the, on down the road. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude, I fucked hell of a bitch in college. So on this <laughs> podcast in twenty nineteen, um <laughs> <laughs> What about you? Wait, what do you mean? You got a girlfriend or anything? No, I don't. I so don't. So you definitely fuck hell of bitches then. You know, I, mean, I will say no, this. Look, I discovered your Tinder. Stash. I discovered I mean, Tinder a year ago, stash. and that has helped my numbers a lot. Really, I'll Tinder? See, I've done Tinder. I, I haven't closed on anything on Tinder. I've really? never, I've never hung out with a girl off Tinder, really? or Bumble, or anything like that. I do use it honestly, though. I'll be like, every once in a while, I'll get on, just get some swipes, and I'll be like, hey, nice confidence booster, but never like bold enough to be like, hey, what are you doing? Just come over. <laughs> like, what the fuck? I feel like that's just such an awkward way to talk to somebody. If I but do, why like, else are you on Tinder? Confidence booster, like I was saying, just be like, 
um, oh, yeah, this is who likes me, whatnot. And I actually talked to a friend one time who used it for the same reason. And then they got the tender gold. They're like, this fucking sucks. Because you can see who likes you on there. He goes, it's just a bunch of fat chicks liking me. <laughs> <laughs> it's almost a, a D confidence booster yeah, if you yeah. get the gold. He's like, it's like one in 20, honestly. I don't, don't want to see these girls <laughs> like me. Fuck. Yeah, but uh, honestly, my move, if I've probably seen like two or three girls on Tinder that I'd be like, man, I want to actually try to do something with this girl. Um, and I'll always be like, hey, you going out this week, whatever, blah, blah, blah. We should meet up at the bar one night. I'll get you a drink, whatever. And just try to do it like that. Because if I'm sitting there like trying to think about what to say, I'm always going to come off like a fucking. True. Or trying too hard. Or oh, yeah. Like I'm going to come off like a weirdo or something. If I'm just like at the bar talking, like not really giving a fuck, I feel like I would do way better. And. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. You know. Shoot your shot, shoot your yeah. shot. Shoot or shoot. <laughs> well, the shitty part about uh, about Tinder is that like anybody worth pursuing isn't actually worth going to actually reciprocate. Pursuing. Like, yeah, like they're not like gonna they're not pursuing. gonna follow up with you much on right. there. Yeah, because so it makes you kind of seek out what's easiest, and then and then it becomes quantity over quality. And I've after like going down that route for a little bit, I'm like, yeah, let's let's stray away from that. Let's go back to the quality right. again. Like, yeah, because also that quality on Tinder, you might be messaging them, but they also have a message from fifty 18, other dudes. Right, yeah. They're like, hey, what are you doing later? <laughs> like, What's up? <laughs> that's, yeah. you, that's you, Connor. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> you can look at my Tinder right now. All right, let's look at it. <laughs> let's all right new let's conversation let's not just say we did <laughs> we did that yeah we did that we just clipped it out so it went There's from mustaches to tinder I like yeah. it I very like quick it. yeah I don't, I don't it was a real quick transition we've had a couple of quick transitions I'd say you know what I just thought of let's hear it. D- see if this looks like a caterpillar like walking across <laughs> this <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to let you know right now that it does not look <laughs> like no, it, it looks like a man putting his face <laughs> putting in. his stash on a pole. <laughs> I tried to envision it, but I just couldn't see it. Actually, Actually, fair you enough, it fair enough. You give it a good effort, though, good so effort, we'll give you we'll that. You know? you know. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you. I was, I was like, this just looks like something that you could put this caterpillar Crawl on down. and right, <laughs> make yeah. it work. I mean, a caterpillar go. would have a fucking heyday crawling down this thing. I mean, <laughs> even they could probably – Get their cocoon down here too, as well. I mean, that's a good little f- setup for them, honestly. What caterpillars are, are dope. About? Honestly, caterpillars are cool. Honestly, insect caterpillars are OG. Make its cocoon like, down here be a little right. butterfly. Like, what other animal goes from fucking a squirm to something that can fly? That's crazy. Like what? That's pretty true. Because like super hairy and I guess fuzzy and sometimes toxic, and then it and then just like somehow makes it morphs itself. into wings. Yeah, but, like, the whole cocoon process is weird, too. Speaking of morph, you remember that, like, comic book when we were kids, Animorphs or whatever? No. Do you know what I'm talking about? Animorphs. What? (laughs) You guys don't know what I'm talking about? No. Oh, man. I don't. I didn't read very many, like, comic books. They would always have, like, commercials and stuff for it. Guy myself. Animorphs. Hey, let me me Google it. Look it up. This is worth a Google search right here. Okay. I know somebody listening listening to this is going to know about Animorphs. You're an animorph, if that's what it is. I, I morphed from something. <laughs> from what? <laughs> Wait, A N A M O P H? Or R P H? Beats me. Jesus. I feel like this isn't it. This is some movie. Yeah, definitely not that. I'll, it's I'll like, do it's the like comic. animal. It's like animal. Oh, okay, okay. Animal morph. Animal. Animorph? I don't know. Comic. I'll, I'll type in comic Oops. after. Or not like a comic, like a magazine. I don't remember. Wait, like these? Great read, though. Man, I might be just... I believe you. I believe this it. is a real thing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm determined I, I to I find do, it. But <laughs> that, but that is not it. <laughs> these make me feel uncomfortable. This looks like somebody that's just in their like, pre-teens going through puberty. Ooh. Just on some weird shit, man. That kind of s- explains Connor almost. <laughs> I, just, I invite you to do this podcast with me. You I'm sorry. I'm just. R- I'm putting you on blast. I'm sorry. No, I, I, I don't remember back. it, and I, I can't mind. find it. To be honest, not worth the breath. I don't know why I said to be honest. Yeah, because you don't have anything to fire. Oh God. <laughs> All right. So animorphs, great, 
<laughs> magazine. Everybody agrees. Love it. Yeah, dude, that shit was <laughs> sick. Great, great call, Connor. Dude, honestly, throwback. 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 Yeah, throwback. Dude, hella good. 90s babies. Love it. Barely. When were you born? 96, right? 96, yeah. What are you, 96, 97? 95. 90, oh, yeah, you're old man. I'm old. That. I'm old. We were actually walking through the PSU today, and we were like, damn. Fuck, we're so old. We're pretty old. I'm going to be older next year, too. Do you guys ever walk through, like, the buildings on campus and then remember your first time you ever saw that building on campus? Right, and it was so, like... Like, so I remember being mind-blown. Like Such you, a different perspective. Oh, like, my you God. feel intimidated almost walking in, and then after you learn it for, like, a year, it's like, okay, I own this shit. Like, exactly, like, yeah. First day of SOAR. First day of SOAR, it's like, oh, my God, there's so many people. You know, they know I'm a freshman. Dude, my mm. SOAR was terrible. It was like 97 degrees my day, the first day I went to SOAR. Better than fucking 27 degrees. Yeah, I guess that's true. But, uh, yeah, we were at, like, the Welcome Center or whatever, or wherever they had us, the PSU, and they're like, all right, we're going to walk over to Glass Hall. And everybody was just sweating. Sweating. Bullets, <laughs> like, sweating like and a horse church. They're like, can we get an AC, please? <laughs> it's a terrible experience. So walk by fun, the though. library, you get the uh, fountain... Hopefully some of that the wind falls yeah, like so you get some of the fun. Really close to it. Yeah, yeah right. Take a splash. Of it. Sore was fun. It was fun. It. it was Sore's crazy. Went, Sore's where I went. My best friend. I didn't have to <laughs> go. The dude that I stayed with on Sore was super weird. Didn't say a word to me, and then he jerked off in the middle of the night <laughs> during Sore. I didn't want to. Wait, wait, wait. Is this when? You, where did you guys stay? What hall? Um and uh. Hammonds? Uh, yeah, Hutchinson's. Hutchins oh my god, so you guys were like, there was nothing blocking no, you. No, nothing. He was in the bed. And <laughs> they were in the bed. And he's sitting there wanking. I'm it. laying like, there and I have my back to like, him. Is he like trying to like turn over to like hide or anything? Or is he just like, I'm doing it, covers, no covers. Like, I'm getting after it. Like, I don't <laughs> care if you see. Did not take that close of a look. You know? <laughs> okay, knew, knew what from was what, going on. From what you saw, what, what was, <laughs> expand. He was a big guy, too. He was like, he was probably like six. Okay, three, so like you did look big. then, since he was big. I <laughs> met him early in the day. <laughs> he was a big guy. He was a big guy. <laughs> he was, you definitely took a pretty was, good look. He was the, a pretty... the person was large in stature. <laughs> he didn't say, say that so the first time. So he's in this little bed, just like cranking one out. I'm over there like. What kind? Did Is he huffing and puffing? Did you listen to what kind he was listening to? Asking for a friend. Had to be Hantai. Hantai. <laughs> <laughs> Nara too. Did you go to the bathroom after him? Be like, hey, that kind of sounds pretty good. I might go to the bathroom. <laughs> All right, stop. <laughs> that's enough. I'm telling you about my. You're experience. the one that said your roommate had a big cock when he was waking <laughs> up. Did not. It's not my roommate. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> that's funny because you thought like big dick whenever he said big guy. I was thinking right. like big guy, like big in stature, so that he was gonna yeah. like it would take more effort for him, so that he all like all Connor can hear is just like. <laughs> or maybe, maybe the bed ruffling just <laughs> a little sweet. <laughs> Every once in a while, yeah, you get like a real deep, like, oh yeah. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> then you know that's that's when you know it's gonna it's done after that. You're like, okay, you know, now I can go to bed. You know, like those scary movies where you like the kid like curls up even more. <laughs> it was like me. I was like, <laughs> did, I, did you debate calling your mom? No. <laughs> Mom, please come pick me up. I also actually had um, my buddy just moved out of town, and his mom was a cancer patient, and she just recovered from cancer, so she was like this huge marijuana Burn. advocate. And we would always smoke with her and shit. And right before they left, I was going. They were moving out to Phoenix. Okay. And I was going to soar like two days later, and we were hanging out with him for the last time, me and a couple of my buddies. And his mom came down. She's like, "Oh, I brought you all these goodies back home from Colorado because they just got back from a trip." She gave us like a bunch of weed and like all these THC pills and gummies. So I took those to soar with me, and I ate the shit out of them before I went to bed. So I was like really stoned laying in bed too, and I was like, "Oh, this big weird guy's <laughs> jerking off." <laughs> <laughs> So it was just a traumatic experience, <laughs> honestly. <laughs> That's hilarious, man. That's funny. Did you uh, meet anybody that you know at SOAR that you like still kind of talk to? Well, I didn't go to SOAR like Plus down it. here, but I oh yeah, I guess actually it was kind of cool. My where, SOAR. Where, where did you go to school before you? Uh, came it's to called Dominican University. It's up in Chicago. It's like ten oh, miles yeah. northwest, I believe, yeah, out of the city. Be. 
It, it was cool, though, because we uh, – Did you go to any uh, Cubs, Bears, any football games or something? I went to a Cubs-Cardinals game. That was pretty mm-hmm. cool. Yeah. At Wrigley? Rig- Wrigley's interesting, Wrigley's man. Dope. That's a, yeah, Like, I've it's been, cool how historic Wrigley's it is. Well. Yeah, it's yeah. the oldest stadium in the United States. Is it really? Isn't it? Yeah. No. Yeah. Uh, either that or Fenway. Wait, yeah. is Fenway Boston? Yeah. Okay. It's pretty close. That's funny because the, the next stadium that went to mine was uh, – was uh, – Fenway, yeah. Yep. And, oh, it's definitely Wrigley. I feel like it'd be gotta Wrigley be. as well. Gotta That's what I would Wrigley. guess. That's Look like the up. nostalgia about it. Hey, it's Siri, oldest. who's the oldest stadium in the MLB? Ichiro is 46 years old. That's not what I was <laughs> Oldest looking player for. in the league. <laughs> Ichiro. He's still playing? Yep. Holy shit. Mm-hmm. Is he really? I didn't no know way. that. Siri just told you so. Wow. So. 46 years old. That's Hell crazy. That, or that might have been a stat. Because I thought he retired. Might have. I don't know. That might have been the oldest player to ever play. I don't know. It's not baseball season. Fuck it. That's crazy. Go That's Cardinals. Crazy. Go Birds. We'll go with Wrigley. Hey, we'll go with Wrigley. See, uh, I feel Mike, like you're right. Mike I feel like you're Cardinals, right. Cardinals uh, NL manager got uh, a yeah. NL coach manager of the year. Of the year Mike Schilt. Yep. Really? Yeah, Shout out Cards. And he just got a contract extension. Wow. Big time. Mm-hmm. Dishing out that money. We got to do something next year, though. So we found a good one. We found oh, a good yes, one. Yes, yeah. Matheny was trash. He was garbage. I mean, he, he had some good years. He just didn't get it done. We know? never went to a playoffs once under Matheny. We got to the NLCS against the Giants in 2014 with him. Really? Was that the yep. first year we had him? First year we had him. Oh, okay. Oh, after, I that, guess th- after that, though, he, we didn't I guess shit. everybody kind of got big on Matheny train after that, too. Right. But he was just – I mean, he was a good pick because mm. – he knew he knew Cardinal. It's crazy he's with the Royals now. So we'll see yeah. how that does. Yeah, he honestly. just got hired by the Royals. Right. But he was Did he really? Yeah, yeah he he's he the really head coach should. of the Royals now. Wow. So interesting to see how he that'll uh, split. He's been a bird his whole life, so Yeah, he was. He was a catcher for the Cardinals back in the day. Long and time. I played his son. Stayed in St. Louis. Yeah, I I played with his sons too. Um and uh, I actually had to do a baseball tryout when I was in like eighth grade for the select team, I really wanted to be on it, and they had two artificial mounds set up. I was pitching, I got like my first three pitches in. I'm feeling good. They wanted to see like 20 pitches or something, and his one of his sons, I think it might have been not Luke Matheny, I can't remember. Yeah, it might have been. Uh, I mean, he, no, he's Tate's older than us. Let's say he's about. I think six, Luke's five years our older. Age. I think Luke's our age. And he gets on the mound next to me, and we're in, like, eighth grade. We're, like, 14 years old, and this kid's throwing, like, 83 miles per hour. Oh, shit. Yeah, like, 85. I'm like, what the fuck? I'm not making this team. <laughs> like, that is just a slap in the face. Did, did, uh, were his kids good? Yeah, his they, kids were pretty damn good. And Tate, Tate's in the minors now. He played at uh, Missouri State. Yeah, he did. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah, a discount. I don't know how he's doing right now. A but signed bat from him. Oh wow! Mm-hmm. That's also like their. He played on the uh, Team USA <laughs> in the Olympics as well. Oh, to like keep. Oh, so oh okay. Yeah. yeah, I'm following. Yeah, that's hilarious that they have a boogan bet. Did you uh, play any sports in high school? Yeah, I just What'd played play? soccer. Soccer. Oh yeah, I w- I love soccer. I was fuck. I I have no coordination with my feet. I think my favorite thing about soccer is you can play it, and, and basketball is kind of the same way. But you can play it till and the day you die, basically. Right, right. Yeah. Like, I play against the guy back home. He's probably – this dude's probably in his 70s, man. <laughs> I mean, he's fucking terrible. He's so slow. But he can still boot it. <laughs> but, yeah, yeah. Right. He's still, he plays with, like, 50-year-old men. So. And golf. Golf's the other True. sport. True. True. I need Longevity. to get good at golf. Fuck. That's a good point. He's been – I've been trying to get him to come to the golf range with me, like, I don't know. I, you've been months. playing just for take, a few ta- years, hey, right? You're pretty Connor, solid. Yeah. Connor, I'm down. Just take me to di- driving range because, like, I suck. Like, I know I've got we'll the hand eye coordination for it. I we'll just get have a never good been. Session. We'll get a good session. It's a little harder than you think. Oh, I know it's harder because I've I, been uh, and I suck. <laughs> I started playing probably in, like, first grade or so. My dad just got me a set of clubs, started taking me to range. And I played in this program out at this country club in my hometown all throughout middle school in this, like, junior program. And it was, that was, like, during the summers, like, every Tuesday and Thursday. And then we were required to play, like, a round of golf on our days off. Like, so we had to play, like, at least three rounds a week, which was pretty good being, like, 12, 13 years old. And then I stopped in high school because I was playing other sports. I was playing football. I was wrestling. I was playing a little bit of baseball. And then right when I came back down to school, I started getting, like, back into it. And this past summer, I've gotten, like, so into it it's been pretty crazy like you can ask him there'll be days or there'll be like 
a week straight. Well, I'll just come in at like seven o'clock. Well, I guess now that daylight savings happens, but I'll come in at like seven o'clock, and he'll be like, "What have you been doing all day?" I'm like, yeah, I just played like thirty six holes, and I'll do that for like four times a week. That's crazy. Yeah. I've been he playing gets a after lot. It. I've been getting a lot better though, and then I got yeah, a lot you better. Still suck. Yeah. You play thirty six holes four times a week. No, not every time I would play thirty six holes. That's a lot. That's but a lot. I would try to get in like four, like four solid rounds a week throughout the summer. Especially with like my work schedule and everything, I would have like doubles and stuff. How do you afford it? Because I know that's kind of an art. I beat him like, in just, mini just putt putt just to say that. So <laughs> once out of maybe fifty times. <laughs> <laughs> um, I have a uh, membership with this country club off sixty five right past 44 okay it's called springfield golf and country club and um they run me a really good deal and then i actually ended up knowing the golf pro out there who controls all their payments and everything because at the golf course i used to work at he was there he was the gm there and then they totally just fired everybody because the new owners went new owners bought the place out and they just fired everybody and brought in all their own staff but then I went to this country club, and I was really interested. And I was like, Mom, will you pay, like, my first two months as, like, a birthday present or something? And this was in middle March, and my birthday was in April. And uh, she was like, yeah, whatever. Sign up for that. Let me know how it is. Let me know, like, the prices and everything. We can see what we can do. And I went out there, and he was the golf pro out there. And I was talking to him, and I ended up signing up that day. And he just gave me, like, extremely good pricing. So it's supposed to be, like, the first two months were like fifty dollars a month, which is really good deal. Cause you go somewhere else and you'll pay thirty five dollars for eighteen holes in a cart, and I got unlimited yeah. golf with unlimited cart fees and all that. And then in the summer months, it was supposed to be one hundred and twenty five, and then he just kept cart charging me fifty bucks throughout the summer months. Oh, yeah, really? Which was awesome because I was struggling for money for a little bit, and I was like, I ain't dropping my uh, golf membership. <laughs> That's the last thing I'm dropping. My parents were hounding on me. They're like, you're broke. Get rid of the golf membership. I was like, yeah, yeah, I got, I got rid of it. Still going and playing like <laughs> every day. And then, you know, got back on my feet. Happens. A little bit too much party in the summer. That probably would have contributed to it. You should uh, fucking go for a – try to compete for a PGA tourney. Never going to happen. <laughs> Let's be realistic. Well, then why would you quit your membership? <laughs> what? Then why would you quit your uh, membership? I didn't quit my or, membership. Or why, why haven't you quit your membership? Because I like playing. It's enjoyable. I'm not going to be fucking on the PGA. Dude, you can compete. <laughs> Those guys are fucking insane. Just say you can. I cannot. <laughs> Let's get that through our heads. Okay. It's a great hobby to take up. It's right. a fun hobby. I recommend it to everyone. I, I need to get good at it. Mm-hmm. I would. I really. And I've seen you play putt putt, so it might take a while. After I beat you. <laughs> well, it's it's a thing that people in the probably the past I've noticed like three years, like everybody started to get into golf. Yeah, it's definitely getting way more mainstream. I mean, just after like Tiger Woods made his comeback and everyone, which I mean, it doesn't like upset me, but sometimes people are like, "Fuck yeah, like Tiger Woods." I'm like, dude, you watched Tiger Woods for like a year and a half. You know, Tiger Woods has been through the journey, and and sometimes people talk shit on him too. They're like, oh, like. You know, with, like, a scandal and everything. I'm like, come on. If you're this super influential person, you're on the top of the world, and every girl on the left and right has thrown themselves at you. That's exactly how I feel. You're probably going to make a mistake. <laughs> but he got his shit busted by his wife. Seven iron through the Escalade, brother. I think it was Escalade or something, yeah. Really? Yeah, he was, like, peeling out of his house, and his wife came out there with a seven iron. Tiger. What did she hit him with it, or she she got the car? She got the car. Okay, okay. Yeah. That would have been a bigger story if she hit him. Yeah, right. <laughs> Tiger out for the season due to seven iron to the face. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> he probably would have hit, hit hit her back. No, no, honestly. So. No, that's not a Tiger move, because that would land you in a lot more hot water. Never know. <laughs> I agree, though. I agree. Like, no, not many dudes are in that position to where like. They could get just limitless pussy like that. Right. Oh my god! You know, and like, oh. like Tiger Woods was, and he chose to be exclusive with his wife. And I don't know. At times you might crack, and it's not like he's on the road out with her every single day. He's got like a new wife and shit now too. And I mean, she's always at the tournaments and stuff, obviously. But 
you know that's that dude is still just like every girl that passes by. But it's funny because there's actually a video of. Do you know who Brooks Kepka is? Nah. He's like the new, new guy on tour that's just really been killing it lately, and he's got this really hot like supermodel wife. And there's this video of Tiger after he won the Masters walking past Brooks Kepka's wife, and she's like, like super giddy and like puts her hand out. She's like, hi, <laughs> like just nervous as all get out. That's funny. Which is hilarious because there's so many memes and stuff made about that. Like, t- like uh, her name's Jenna, I think. And it was like Jenna about to risk it all or whatever. <laughs> That's goofy. That's goofy. Yeah, but the man does well for himself. He's also, like, one of the most highest-earning oh, athletes yeah. of all time. I mean, he's the fucking face of golf. Yeah. He is the greatest to ever do it. Do you ever think about how many, PGA Tour. how many of the considered the best athletes are still at it right now? Oh, my God. And they're all kind of LeBron, out of their prime. Tiger, like, coming Tom, down. Brady. I feel like we grew up in such a great era of sports. Oh, my God. We Tiger really Woods, Cristiano, Lina, uh, what was it? Lionel Messi, mm-hmm. um, LeBron James. Holy shit. Floyd Kevin Mayweather. Durant, Floyd Mayweather, Mayweather Floyd. yeah. I mean, the NBA is crazy. Fucking baseball is crazy. I know it's died down a lot. Just because no one Who really would be the best it, baseball so. player of all time? I know there's some See, of the historic is, That is like, the that is toughest is thing in sports to say. Like, you can say who the best hockey player was, best football player, basketball. Yeah, there's always, like, the you Jordan can't say LeBron baseball. debate. Like, Baseball's just so much Like, different. you want to say you, who hit the most home runs, who got the most runs, but who also was the best pitcher. At, when you like, look at, like, the most home runs, <laughs> what is it? Who, ba- Babe ba- Ruth? Barry, has, no, it's, it's, Barry, it's Barry Bonds, but his record's tainted because there's steroids. No, I'm saying, like, uh, like, when you look at the people who have, like, so many home runs, like, Babe Ruth and people like that, they also have so many strikeouts right. yeah, and stuff absolutely. to go with that. So it's just so and much then also, like, baseball. at the same time, Pete Rose, leader in hits, still not Hall of Famer because he, he was a gambler mm-hmm. on baseball. So it's, like, it's, a, it's really hard to say who the best baseball player ever was. And, like, in our era, I would probably say Derek Jeter. For Derek sure. Derek Jeter? Yeah. In our era. Derek Jeter's pretty good. This is tough. Yep. I mean, it's so hard because there's, there's definitely so many other players that are better than Derek Jeter. There's so many good players, but I'm always just so biased when it comes to stuff like that. I'm like, St. Louis Cardinals players. No, I am pick? really not. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, all right, who on the St. Louis Cardinals is the best baseball player ever? I'm like, oh, Ozzie Smith. See, but, I, you know. I argue Yachty is the best catcher ever. Oh, yeah, I would. that would be a great argument, honestly. Mm-hmm. That could be a Shannon, Shannon Smith. Him or, him or Yogi Berra. Yogi Berra was mm-hmm. crazy. Mm-hmm. But that was just such a different there's time in baseball. Su- yeah. Wasn't that, there's somebody else that was – no, never mind, never mind. Who, uh, who'd Buster? be top five? Top five. Of all time? Baseball players, all time. time. I feel like you got to put, like – God, it's so tough going all the way back. What, like you know? Hank Aaron, Ty Cobb, Mickey Mantle? Yeah, but everybody wants to put them up there as the thing. and Like, like, like uh, there's players that are also better. Yeah. Like A-Rod, Derek Jeter. And then you got to do pitchers, Roger Clemens, uh, fucking, I mean, Justin Verlander, he's been crazy. Dude, Justin, Lan- J- Justin Verlander's been killing it for a while. That's another thing. Pedro Martinez. Yeah, he was starting to get big around, like, 06, whenever Cardinals played him. Uh, oh, my God. He's, and we beat him. He's just been, yeah. Yeah. 06. He's actually 0-5 in the World Series. Wainwright was getting big around the same time. Yep, that's Verlander w- and Wayne Wright. Wainwright. Wainwright just Wainwright got signed cl- to another year or two. Wainwright, oh, really? Wainwright was the uh, closer, and he came in and closed the, De- right. the Detroit and mm-hmm. uh, Cardinals game. With Yachty when he does that big. Ah. Yep. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, because from that 06 team, I remember, I remember looking at that team back in like, I don't know, maybe it was 2015 oh, dude, it was so or like it was like a few years later. I'm like, damn, literally like everybody's gone now. Albert Pujols, that's like Jim Mind Edmonds, blowing. Scott Rowland, Derek Eckstein, Those three. I, I have a uh, – Reggie Sanders, Sotoguchi. Sotoguchi down the left field Who's line. Who's the dude with the uh, – the Scott, Scott Spezio. Spezio. I was him for Halloween oh, yeah. one year. <laughs> yeah. I was Scott Spezio for one year. Um, I He's, he he had that crazy throw, right? Uh, From like left – or right field, right field yeah. to the third base. Uh, that was insane, man. That was insane. Sports are crazy, man. I love sports. What were you saying, though? Then he rubs the soul patch. 
<laughs> I rocked it, dude. I got a red red soul yeah, patch. I, I went all out. The jersey <laughs> and everything. I was Scott Spiegel for Halloween. I like it. I actually and then, a, oh, uh, no, I fucking dropped my fucking red thing when I was peeing. <laughs> the urinal. The urinal. <laughs> then I wasn't, even then Scott, you, I wasn't even Scott Spiegel. You, you picked it out, didn't you? I might have. <laughs> <laughs> I think I did. I think I did, yeah. <laughs> Ooh. Well, that's funny because I was younger or if I was old, I probably would have still picked it up. Like even it. better right. now. Back yeah. Yeah. whenever I was uh, cool. well, your urine will stick a little better there, eh? When I was growing up playing baseball, <laughs> I had like a, a baseball glove and the inside had some fur and mm. I was taking a piss and I dropped it. This is when I was like really oh. young playing baseball. Like, really young. <laughs> First mistake and taking then, a piss with your glove. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> And then and then I just dropped that shit right Pissing in there, and I, the I grabbed it right out and played the rest of the game. And from then on, it always had a permanent yellow stain, <laughs> where it was like white fur and was yellow from Did that. You play better. On. You might have got a better little, you know, glove work there with I, the piss. Yeah, I think I got better, better grip right. from that like moment on. Grip. Yeah, <laughs> the piss might have been grip. your key. You might have had a turnaround year after that. That could have been your <laughs> the piss grip, the key. oldest technique in <laughs> the MLB, oldest <laughs> technique in the book. Piss on your glove. You won't <laughs> fucking make an error all year. Yeah, I went from outfield to infield. Shortstop right after that. Literally. Yeah. All this pissed Like two innings later. Like I need to take one. <laughs> Do you know where the bathroom is? Yeah, it's your pants. Upstairs. Yeah, yeah. Got you. So it'd be, uh, once you get to that main room, it's like a straight shot there. It, it's easy to find. If my roommates are up there, ask them. Be right back. Cool. You'll find it. Get Ooh. that dog back in here. Just thought of the no masterpiece. Like the, Ooh. Oh. Yeah, that Have was good. Have you ever seen that the, the uh, uh, Migos? Um, Thing where when they're in, I can't remember. It's someone famous. They're they're in a car with someone, uh, someone famous, and they're playing like a Sweet Caroline, and like it's the Migos in the background, and they make it all lit. Oh, is it that that carpool karaoke yes, yes, James yes. Corden guy? Yes, yes, yes. yes. It's so hilarious. They play Sweet Caroline, and then Migos start go, going crazy about it. I fucking love it, dude. That song can get anyone hype from any dude, generation. Really, absolutely, I love I that. It's such a classic. Have you ever heard of the YouTube channel? I just listened to these dudes. Like, or, Listen, I watched these dudes for like the first time ever yesterday called Yes Theory. Yes Theory. What kind of music are they? Alternative? Uh, no, no. They're just like – they're a YouTube channel. Okay. And they do like some random shit. So they did like – they. Um, if you've ever seen Nathan For You, he does shit like this yeah. as well. Uh, they did a thing where they pranked the entire internet and they found a Justin Bieber lookalike and had him bite from the side of a burrito – and they got this shit trending within like forty eight hours. Thinking it was Justin Bieber, yes, for real? dude. Oh, and the, the lookalike looks identical. They did this thing where they, uh, they went to the most. They looked up an article for the most boring town in America. It was somewhere in fucking like Kansas. Oh, thank God it wasn't Missouri. And yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> Surprised it wasn't. Yeah, right. <laughs> they, I think they, uh, they, they threw a dart at like a map of the United States, and they ended up. Going to Missouri, be, like in result of it, oh. which makes sense because it's like central. Right. It's right in the middle. But actually, um, the middle of the United States is uh, Topeka, Kansas. For, oh, really? For, for a f- firm fact, the middle of the United States is Topeka. Oh no, yep. shit! That's not even like that boring of a town. I've, I've been there, and I, I don't remember. Kansas. Yeah, Kansas fucking sucks. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what I think of it. I don't know what I. Th- I went to Topeka when I was younger. But anyway, yeah. anyway. They went to, like, the most boring town in the United right. States, somewhere in Kansas, and they ended up, like, they their goal was to go there and throw a party, and they they went around to, like, the they went out to eat, and they're asking the waitress where they could throw a party, and then they go, like, down the street to some coffee shop. They ask the waitress there, like, where they can throw a party, and they, they pretty much get this party together. And that's what it reminded me of is they play <laughs> Sweet Caroline, Every and time. that was one of the songs that, like, everybody was going just, off right, to. Everyone loves it. Yeah, You can right? play at a stadium, party, just chilling with a couple friends, Sweet Caroline, everyone loves that. I mean, with your parents, with right, your grandparents. Parents, right, girlfriend, you name it. And everybody just feels obligated at, to right, sing along. Sweet, you know, everyone, what a oh, beautiful song! Like in the I aspect. know, like how how much such a music brilliant song! Like it, it gets everyone so involved. Like God, they've got to make so much money off of that song. True, because it's old and it's been playing for, fuck, it gets played like it everywhere all the time. Just bringing people together like right. that. That's cool. I love it. That's the cool thing about music, man. That's cool. I know music is a dope thing. I honestly couldn't imagine life without music. I, I really couldn't like. That's what like gets me in a good mood. Like I wake up, start listening to music. I'm like, okay, we're gonna have a good day. Like, if you could, if you had to have life without music or without dogs, which one would you give up? Oh, fuck. That's a hard question. 
Dude, fuck. I love dogs so much, bro. I, I know, love right? Music. Should I, co- dude, I, should I cover Buster's ears? Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. yeah. I, dude, Buster, don't listen. I, I think I gotta go for music. You, wait, give up music or no? I gotta, I, I have to stick with music. I don't. I, I could, think I would too. Honestly, I gotta have music before I have dogs. Like, dogs do. No, like I love dogs. Have dogs. Love them. Going to have more dogs. But like, I just could not imagine life. Like, imagine just riding in the car, just, just silence. Right, all day. Just. Six hour car ride, just nothing. And I, I like listening. I, mean, I to guess a podcast, you could listen to a podcast, right? But like, but like even podcasts, like if you've got like five hours in the car, like you're, trying you're to gonna go get bored of podcasts. Right. Like, you want to like listen to music. even trying to go up to like, imagine going to a club, imagine going to a bar, <laughs> like yeah, absolute bitter silence, just <laughs> awkward as hell. <laughs> like oh, it'd be so. And then if you're like, oh, man, I, I I need music. Yeah, I gotta go music. I think music would be my choice as yeah. well. Oh, that's hilarious. But, dude, then that just eliminates dogs and love and affection. But dogs are like another – that's like another – that's like a kid almost. I I go many days without dogs, but I, I – Because we, we – I got to have this music. This isn't even There's like more days dogs. I go without dogs than I do without music. I listen to music every single day. Same. All right. So, got to have music. I think it'd be music, yeah. That's what gets me in a good good mood. Gets me out of a, out of a bad mood. Sorry, Buster. Sorry, Buzz. I'm gl- I'm glad you can't understand what we're saying. Yeah, I, don't, I think he's. Oh, he, I don't know. He might be offended. I need to give him some love after that. Thank God. That was that was brutal. All right, Somebody was McDonald. In the we just up there, so I had to go out. Hey, McDonald. <laughs> hey, you gotta you gotta you answer. The, you gotta answer the tough tough question that uh we just debated the there. Tough question. The tough question. We just want answer it right there. All right. So Huff was saying how much he liked music, and then I saw Buster like standing there, and I was like, if you had to give up one of these. If you had to give up music or dogs, which one would you give up? Damn. Right? That was my exact response. <laughs> That's hard, man. That's a hard question. So tough. Well, I currently don't have a dog right now, but I, I feel like every time I see a dog, like I'm just like, oh. I gotta love dogs. It, gotta pet it. Like, right. I've literally pulled over my car, actually right over here off Lawrence Street. Uh, there's this dude walking two giant fluffy dogs. I literally pulled my car over. I was like, <laughs> hey, dude. I like leaned out the window. I was like, hey, dude. Uh, can I pet your dogs? I'm like, uh, sure. <laughs> Never had anybody pull over and ask to pet my dogs, but go for it. Like, yeah, it might have been a little weird. <laughs> Assuming it was a cute dog, right? Oh, my God. Just crazy. But to answer that question. <sighs> That's a big compliment to him. Might, too, have, to, might have to get rid of music, honestly. Really? Yeah, cause I'm think the way I'm thinking about it right now is long car rides. What would you do without music? If you had a dog sitting next to you, pfft, yeah. But how many car rides do you have with dogs? But you could also s- name the last long car ride you had with a dog. <sighs> Thanks for bringing up my dead dog, dude. <laughs> <laughs> uh, asshole. Imagine going on a nine-hour, <coughs> eight-hour trip to Chicago, listening to. That. But then, does that mean you couldn't even like sing or anything? You couldn't hum. No I guess music. music That's w- music. I guess music wouldn't be a thing. Rhythm is music. No yeah, sounds. Probably. Nothing. Podcasts. Is Think the about only that. Thing you do. Also, there was some person, just like the first person to ever just start singing. Everybody's like, "What the fuck <laughs> is this <laughs> guy doing? <laughs> like, this guy's just kind of yelling weird." <laughs> Imagine the first person that created EDM, like uh. or dubstep, <laughs> or dubstep came before EDM. You ever seen who Skrillex is? Yes, I've seen Skrillex live. Those Great are the point. type of people that have to start <laughs> doing EDM for the first time. Just on so much Molly, just like, yes, 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 yes. This sounds great. What? With the brace drop. I'm going to press all these buttons at once. <laughs> no, that was a good point. I'm just imagining like a dude sitting around a fire, and he just starts like snapping. He's just like... She's got eyes like <laughs> Everybody's like, what the, the fuck, fuck are you, are you doing? <laughs> then others are like, oh, that's good. Keep doing that. Wait, wait. <laughs> we, could make, we could make some money off that's this. That's pretty maybe. good, actually. <laughs> People might like that. So if we got rid of the dogs. Think about sitting outside on the 4th of July on the lake. Nothing. Fireworks. No country music. Daytime. Fireworks and dogs. <laughs> but if fireworks we got rid of the dogs, dogs and kept the music, would that mean we'd have more cats? 100p. I guess I guess you would have more cats because that would just be like the normal you gotta, domestic. You gotta have something that's that would be like yeah, 
Because when you think of the main domesticated animals, you think dogs, cats. Yeah, know? yeah. I mean, in that order. Some people got some weird animals like birds or pigs or lizards or peacocks. something. Peacocks. Huh? I have a cousin who is a uh, peacock is a emotional support animal. No way. Interesting. That's awesome. See, like, it's kind of weird. <laughs> it's kind of cool. <laughs> it's very weird. But that's like, why the cool. fuck do you have a peacock? <laughs> you got like a little <laughs> leash and walking around. Could you have a peacock lay in your bed, like sleep with you at night? I mean, what if it like fluffs its like feathers? I think they, know? I think they only do that when they're mating, or they get like flustered or something to like look bigger. It's a good point. If you bring it to your bed, it might get the wrong idea and then flus- fluster it. <laughs> right. <laughs> well, I'm not in the right scene. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <God>. Bend over. <laughs> Oh my god, does that mean my cousin fucks the peacock? <laughs> Fuck. I don't think it means it does, but it means it he might. might. Right. He Austin. might. There's a, Austin. There's a chance. Twice. <laughs> there will be no peacock fucking going. <laughs> there should be. Alright, here, listen to this. Did you hear him just say that twice? What, what do you mean? So, I'm new to this, and I really <laughs> don't like it. He and all of his friends from Glendale, we hang out with some of them, like Chandler More than Collins, Glendale. a couple... Is it just There's like others. the Springfield? Well, Cold I mean, it. that's others where it came it. from, right? It's from right. your high school yeah, friends. Yeah. They so play this game where if you say a word consecutively twice in a row, they twice you. They're like, oh, twice. And everybody freaks out. They're like, oh, you got Even twice. Even the same phrase. So if you were to say, hey, Huff, how you doing? And I go, what? Hey, Huff, how you doing? Twice. And then we all start fucking freaking out. You just twice the same yourself, pe- by the way. I said I kept talking. So. Oh, yeah, I guess you're right. See, I'm new to the game. <laughs> um, <laughs> Yeah, you, and they, pretty much you say the same thing two times in a row, gets wise, and you're fucked, and we're going to freak out. So I was just so opposed and hated this game for the longest time because they would just set me up constantly. I'd say something, they'd be like, Oh, you're what? the newbie, and they're yeah. fucking with you. Yeah, and then it, I just said, yeah, twice. And it's just little shit like that, and it would piss me off because I guess I also have a bad habit of saying words twice in a row. I definitely do. I know I do. No, see, that's it's that's what I'm saying. It's a good thing. Like, it trains you to not say the same thing two times in a row. It trains you to create a new sentence, like, expand your vocab. But it's also, you guys just say the words twice in a row sometimes and say said after it. Right. So I don't get twice. But this game has <laughs> been going on for so long, and I'm new to it. And when I say new, I'm, like, been around it for, like, a year. Oh, <laughs> shit. And I'm new to it. And I get twice... All the time. I've probably gotten twice five times tonight. What? You heard what I said. <laughs> <laughs> You've gotten headphones on your ears. I, you were a little away from the mic. So what so. if what if somebody like genuinely doesn't hear you though? It doesn't and then matter. You say and then what everybody again, makes and then fun like of twice. you. Right. Everybody yell, we'll be in a restaurant and they'll just go oh, like get out of their chair. <laughs> <table. laughs> Yelling at them. Everybody's looking just like you're ever just pointing at me. I'm like just don't care. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but he does care. I, I it's been getting to me. Yeah, no, he it's cares. It's it's imbi- yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, it's yeah, it's brutal, and they do that, and I just try to act like I don't care, but they can oh. tell oh. that I care, and He's they just caring. keep it going. <laughs> so I used to say that I don't play the game, so they can't twice me. But I've definitely you gotten. Play. I've definitely been playing. You definitely play. I've gotten Austin, maybe twice. And I've twice, you. you twice him twice. Yeah, twice, twice. No, he twice said you twice. Oh, no, you're good. Twice. Yeah, yeah, you're yeah, good. Exactly. I said. But it's a very frustrating game, and I feel like it's easy to catch on. But it, it it's, it's easy to catch on, but it's it's a uh, it's annoying. It's a buy in. It definitely promotes like better speaking. I don't it does. Know how you would say that? You know what I mean? Like I I kind of it expands to, like, your vocabulary. Vocabulary. I know I fucked it up. Sorry. <laughs> um, no, I kind of related to like, uh, like if you're in like a job interview or something, you know, I kind of feel like it's more of like a. Like it a gives you more speaking. more words to say, you right? You I don't want to say the same thing two times in a row. No, it just kind of like I feel like that's also bad. Um, like I don't even know what I'm trying to say. I just feel like, like if he if an uh, interviewer says like. We take this. You go. Yes, yes. You're like, yes, sir. Okay. Like, well, I have a problem. More. I have a bad problem with saying yeah, yeah. Said. Oh, fuck. Well, this tone I could have twice. Like, what right if there. you're what if you're explaining something to me and I've never, I've never heard of the concept before and I'm understanding it for the first time and I'm like, yeah. I was like, yeah. That it really clicks. Twice. Right there. That's, That's still that. twice. Yeah. So the you tone go, doesn't matter. Right? Isn't or that so frustrating? Tone or time. If you go, yeah. 
and then you guys start speaking. You could not talk for yeah an again. hour. But if you didn't say right. anything in between that hour, if you say the you said same yeah, thing two times in a row. Boom, you're twice. Twice. But the yes, like the yes means something different. Right? Like the first yeah, it's like, yeah, but I'm hearing saying, you. And then you and then you keep talking. You're explaining it. And then I'm like, yeah. Like, yeah, I understand. But you're saying Y-E-A-H two times in a row. So it's twice. You said the same thing. Two yeah, times yeah, in a row. you're right. Yeah. See? Oh, wow. No, I didn't yeah, have a purpose. Right. I didn't oh, have a purpose. So I did that on purpose. There, I said. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so that's been going on for a little while, and I'm yeah, finally so getting into it. Getting better. I can definitely tell it's like, because if I say something twice now, I'm like, oh, oh said. Oh, I'm like, try to say something real quick, but you don't want to get twice. Can you grab me another one? Is it just the shame thing? Like, it's just the shame. Oh, that's thing. embarrassing. <laughs> so, no, actually, shamed. It doesn't matter where no, you're at. Speaking of this, like, this is going Thanks, man. So I like that. One I like of our friends, no boundaries. One of our friends, he's like Tom Brady at the game. Like he's the king. He has been twice. He's gotten twice once, once in 2019. All in 2019 up until today. Once. Someone twice in today and we all started freaking out. He got twice one time. All of 2019 and it's November. That's impressive. That's nuts. Yeah. And he he's like he's he's the best. Chandler Collins, shout out baby. That's you baby. Go Chandler 82. Love you. Most State football. Oh, he plays football. Yeah, he's a long snapper. <laughs> oh, shit. Wow. Best job to have in football. Right? He's going. He's Wait, gonna, what's a snapper? Long snapper? Long snapper. Yeah. He does, like, field goals, footballs, and punts. No field shit, goals, really. Footballs and field goals, punts. Did he start playing soccer? I know that's, like, pretty common. No? Mm-mm. No, he's, he, not, he's, he's not just a kicker. He's, he's not the kicker. He he's the one that the snaps in the football. football. Oh. So anytime it's not, okay. like, a regular, yeah, yeah, like, yeah, first. Yeah. Anytime it's pretty much fourth down, he's snapping. He's a special teams guy. Right. Wow. So like a punt, that is the best. Punt or a field goal. Mm-hmm. That's like a Blue Mountain State. Whenever yeah, he's the, he's the backup exactly. quarterback, and he's like, "Oh shit, I don't want to be the starter." Yeah, yeah, it is because I mean, when you see like a missed kick or something, everybody's like, "Oh fuck, it's the kicker's fault." But it could have actually been a bad snap. Right, but it, it seems like it never gets blamed on the long snapper. Chain calls never had a bad snap. Never. Um, but yeah, it's a very safe position, I think. Oh, but yeah. it's also a position that like. Once you get in the NFL as like a long snapper, you're probably you're gonna be it. on the team for like a dozen years. That's how it is. So they're, they're not really the looking to replace the guy. No, unless he's just. I awful. mean, once you get there, I mean, you're fucking. Yeah. You're the snapper. I mean, yeah. you got it down. Mm-hmm. If you can, you gotta how have much, a good. How you much gotta, physical contact do they you, see? I mean, well, they're part of the punt coverage. So, I mean, they have to be able to tackle and get downfield. So. But then again, also you can't. Be directly on. Well, actually, in the NFL, it's probably it's much different in the NFL, isn't it? But in like high school football, you can't just hit the the center on special teams. You got to let them get that snap and get oh, that's head how, back no, that's up. how it is in uh, NFL. NFL, got, okay, yeah, you can't over, yeah. over block them. Yeah, you gotta you gotta let them get the snap through and get like their head up because there's some people you can't but, you can't jump over the. No, center. you can't. Yeah. You can. There's been a few. Yeah, you can do that. You can jump. You just can't touch him. Oh, you're out. You can't once touch him. Once they touch him, yeah. Once you can't they touch him. Yeah. If you can jump Good. straight over the center and get to the ball to block the kick, you can do it. But pretty big, pretty big play because most of those guys that are snapping the ball are probably like six five. Right. You know, they are snap that ball real quick and they're coming straight up. So if you can do that, good for you. But that's well, you can't touch play. who? You can't the center, touch center, the long snapper, on the one snapping teams. the ball. Oh, you yeah. can't touch him. Really. They're like protected until that snap is off and they get their they get their full body up. Bearings back makes going. sense. It makes sense. Because I mean, yeah. think about it. Because it's dangerous at that point. And yeah. He's very in They've got their to get hurt. arms like behind their legs and their head down. Like it would be so easy to just put them out of the for the rest of the season. It'd be so easy to injure them. Uh-huh. So they have like protected rules on them, which is nice, and that's also why they have so much longevity in the NFL. Right, it's a good position. It is. It's the best best position because they get they get paid a lot. So is he going pro? Did your buddy go on pro? He might, dude. I would. He's he's going that for would the be he, awesome. That he's, would going, be cool. he's gonna go show up for the pro day. The only thing he, that uh, he's lacking is his uh, speed a little bit. Okay, because you gotta have speed. I feel like that's not a huge. Thing. No, it is in the NFL. It's all it is. Yeah, it's I know because every there's so many people going for it, right? You know? if, and if you're point four better, if yeah, you guys yeah. are all the same, but this guy's a little bit faster, but it's point like, two seconds faster, yeah. right? That sucks. Everyone can snap the football the same exact way, you know? Yeah. I mean, he's not like a slow, but right. No, that's just what he yeah. said is the only thing he needs to work on. To be 
Man, that'd be awesome. That separates that, that, that separates him from West Winchester, who's the Chiefs long snapper. Cause he's like the, uh, pretty much same size and uh, build. Oh um, yeah, he's compared himself to him. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, definitely. Him and so him and Chandler are like Chiefs super fans. Yeah. I swear. I'm a massive. Oh right. Really? He makes Chiefs a video fan. every time they play. Of on his every Snapchat. Sunday I put something on my Snap story. And he does like something crazy. Like one straight. time he jumped over a counter at the View, caught a football mitt. You could hear him just smacking the counter, smacking the floor. They're he crazy. stands up. He's like. Go Chiefs! It does like the tomahawk chop, <laughs> tomahawk chop. And the next day, this guy was so bruised oh, up down bad. his side from jumping on our ground. Our uh, wait, can we see this video? Granite, yeah, granite countertop. Wait, 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 that's like one of many. Did you bruise yourself up on that slide oh, or, you, or on the fall? Here's it, another one. it looked like you fell pretty well. <laughs> Red Sunday, baby. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This guy is so much so of a Chiefs fan yeah. that we were trying to decide what beer we wanted earlier today after we got out of class. That he, go- We were looking at all the beers. I was like, how about that 20-pack of Bud Light? They're Chiefs cans. He goes, oh, yeah, definitely. Let's get it. <laughs> and after he just said, I'm not really feeling Bud Light. Let's mix something up today. <laughs> That's last funny. One. This is the last one. Oh. Commitment to the squad, to the team. Dude, uh, Dude so much. Is Castro. Bang. How many how many Chiefs jerseys oh, do you have? Oh, you made now? the shot. Oh, hell yeah. I didn't even know there's a basketball. Yeah. Oh yeah, so how many Chiefs jerseys do you have now? You got a full man roster of Chiefs jerseys. Tyree yet? Kill. <laughs> Patrick Mahomes, still the Marcus Peters, who's not on the team. Tyreek Hill, that was the name I was trying to think of the other day. Uh, Travis Kelsey, McCole Hartman, Tyron Matthew, and Sammy Watkins. Nice. So eight. Sammy Watkins, the one that got away. RIP to the Rams. Fuck the Rams. Wait, is Mahomes still hurt? No, he played last week. week. Really? And they lost. They still lost. Titans. Nashville, Tennessee. Damn. Tennessee Titans. God damn. <laughs> you almost cried, didn't you? I did. No, I did. I shed tears for yeah. sure. Like I'm, I'm that committed. Like we should not have lost that game. That was bad. It was a bad game. Unreal. Mahomes had a great game. Though. Oh, Mahomes had a great game. Three touchdowns, 400 yards. I mean, what more can you ask from him? 500 yards. <laughs> I mean, fuck. Four touchdowns. Yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> Four touchdowns. I mean, we had him, we had him fucking fourth and 17. We got the stop with less than two minutes left. That's and we football. got the ball back and couldn't do it. That's football. I feel like I'm on no, the that's not radio football, talk like show. Chiefs. Like uh, like ESPN talk show kind of. I uh, actually play golf with this guy all the time. That's uh, He does the ESPN affiliate talk show, Jock 98.7. No shit. Yeah. Shout out Nate Lucas, the man. That's Love pretty cool. Jock. Yep. Every morning at, mm, what is it, like 9.30 in the morning, I think, is the show. It's pretty good. We talk about sports, but, man, this guy catches so much flack from people because he, like, he just says it how it is. Like, he speaks what's on his mind, and he'll call somebody, a, like, a jabroni or something if they deserve it, you know? What does that mean? He's just, like, a nerd or they suck, you know? Like, he doesn't really hold back. A scrub. But uh, actually, yeah. speaking on our friend Chandler, I was listening to the radio show one day, and he was just uh, talking so good about Chandler because Chandler just won, what, like uh, MVC? Um, special teams. Special honors, teams, yeah. yeah, honors or something like that. And he was talking so good about him. So I texted Chandler. I was like, yo, Nate Lucas is talking about you on his show right now. And he goes, oh, God, what? That guy is always so negative. I was like, no, he's actually praising you right now. And, yeah, that's just like. Every time I'm hanging out with him playing golf or, like, talking to him, he's always just like, yeah, so-and-so was saying this. Or, like, I was trying to get tickets to this Missouri State game. They shut me down. Like, they don't really like me. I was like, well. Wait, what? they don't want him at the most state games? Well, he's very opinionated about things. Okay. <laughs> you know, like, he says how it is. I mean, 
Our football team sucks. Most of our athletics kind of suck. Baseball's good. Baseball's pretty good, but still. Except last year, I guess. Last year was not very good. And, uh, I mean, he just says it how it is, but I always like listening to him. And I was thinking about that, actually, before we did this podcast. I was like, damn, this is going to kind of be like a radio show or something. <laughs> but I just thought it was kind of cool. I don't know. You well, how'd you meet this guy? Like, I, um, obviously playing golf, but. I think he lives at Aspen right now, but I've met him at, like, Ebbets and stuff. And Wait, is this a guy, like, our age? He's actually a little older than us. I think he's like twenty seven, twenty eight, or whatever. Okay, but he. I was the, imagining a dude in his sixties. I was. No. I was totally <laughs> imagining no, somebody that's like also way what older. I was getting right there. Yeah. No, no, no. You've seen him before at Abbott's. He's a little huh. shorter, but he's a cool guy. He's very. He's got a distinct voice. Obviously, I mean, mm-hmm. you hear him on the radio. You're like, oh, that's Nate. But uh, no, he's like he's just been around Springfield for the last couple of years, and he actually does all the announcing for Springfield Cardinals. Oh, and nice. He does that talk show too, so. He's in pretty well with, like, the Springfield community around here, and he does a big talk show at Ebbets, or at uh, Falstaff's, not Ebbets. But, yeah, it's always great hanging out with him. Uh, he's definitely got a lot of people that he knows, which is awesome. He can probably go anywhere in downtown Springfield to any bar or something, and he'll be able to strike up a conversation with somebody. Oh, that's pretty cool. Oh, man, that's I cool. love talking sports with that guy, too, because he's so knowledgeable about sports. Like, any sports. Same with our buddy Chandler. We that's cool about. that he's made his – you know he's making his money off of talking about sports, right? And also that's something what you gotta. Need to that's do, what you honestly. gotta do too. You gotta just what you're interested in, just follow it. I mean, obviously you're very interested in doing like your podcasts and your video making and all that shit. And mm-hmm. Look where you are. What are we podcast one fifty one? You said true. One fifty two. One fifty two. That's a lot. That's a high number. It's cool. It is, it's it cool. Is, it is my honor to be here. Then. It's cool. There aren't very many uh, views to show for it, but there, it's like it's still cool because you get to like no, hang out with you, your friends, like right. you do, interact you do be- a little you bit. Do better than you think. How many followers do you have on Instagram right now? I will say, people, yeah, people hit me up and um, like fucking Greg Taylor hit me up like yesterday. Really? Uh, this dude in my class hit me up um, earlier today. Like people. Greg Taylor, thanks for your service, Greg Taylor. Yeah, shout yeah, out, yeah, shout yeah, out yeah. Shout out to all the veterans out there. Yesterday was Veterans Day. Yeah, True. shout out. Vets. You guys are awesome. Thanks for your service. Wait, we didn't get off class for Veterans Day. No, we did not. That's <laughs> fucked up. But the banks were closed. I didn't get paid yesterday. I had to wait till today. Yeah, right? Yeah. Couldn't bet on Monday Night Football. Terrible. Oh, it's so brutal. <laughs> it's a tragedy. <laughs> Terrible. <laughs> it's Damn right. it, Veterans. You would have lost anyways. So. I would have. <laughs> you were in that Bovat account. Do you do a national guy. tragedy. <laughs> yeah, my Bovat account's at like 48 cents I right told now. you. That's why I got out of it. I fucking got into it, and I lost it. I'm like, I'm done. I just had it's a bad a lo- week. It's a losing. I dumped a lot of money in this parlay. I was so sure about it. Wait, what's a parlay? Uh, where you have, like, multiple games that you pick out. So, like, okay. I had a nine-game parlay. And so, like, you pick, the, like, you pick like each nine <coughs> games, you pick the winner, and if all nine of them win, you win the parlay. But if one of them loses, then, like, you lose. So. Yeah, so I had uh, a parlay that was, like, a nine-game. And I put, like, only, like, five bucks down, but it was to win, like, 600-something dollars. And then I had another one that was, like, my safe bet parlay, which was, like, five teams. And it was all the teams that were favored to win, and I had, like, 20 down on that. And then last week in football, there was just so many upsets that my parlay that was a risky one to win so much money, I almost won, except for Adam Vinatieri missed a field goal terribly. That blew my whole parlay. You gotta, start, uh, you gotta start betting on those unders. Yeah, and then all the, the overs. Over, all the have always my been big lost. teams lost, so that lost me like twenty five bucks within one field goal, right? Like, right like that. And that sucks. Yeah, so you gotta bet a small amount. If you would have made that field goal, I would have been eight hundred. Do the unders sure. and then win m- more money. You would have made eight hundred dollars if you made the field if goal. If you made that field goal, that's crazy. Yeah, and that was early in the day too. That was a noon game, I believe. So I still oh, had the Chiefs like, game. No, I'm talking about the Indianapolis Colts oh, game last week. Oh, yeah. yeah. So that really just blew, blew my mind. I was so upset. My buddy did something like that. I forgot what he was associated through, but if he he was watching this game, he actually he went down here. He was in AKL. He this dude's crazy. He went to my high school. That's how I know him. What's his name? Uh, Bailey Kennedy. Yeah, yeah. I played golf you know, with him a few times. No fucking way. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah, that dude's crazy, man. That dude is pretty wild. good at golf. Really. Mm-hmm. I can see it. I can see it. Yeah, yeah. He grew up playing golf a lot. Mm-hmm. But, um, oh, that's funny. That's funny. But, uh, actually, freshman year, he, like, shaved his eyebrows off. And he has <laughs> no idea why. There were, like, two or three different stories to explain it. 
but he just went with like no eyebrows. I, yeah, true. <laughs> speaking of eyebrows getting shaved off in high school, I fell asleep, uh, passed out drunk, and my uh, friends shaved my eyebrow off. Oh, that that's was terrible. A dick I would move. punch somebody for that. Yeah, oh, I, I would too. I did. I, I would did. punch somebody. Like for drawing that. a penis and on your face. The, here's, you can here's, wipe here's, it off here's the worst part: they shaved my eyebrow, and I had a fucking basketball game the next day uh, and i had to start with missing an eyebrow <laughs> you're like a teen captain you go out there in the rush like what the fuck dude <laughs> i had long hair at the time and i usually tried to sweep it sweep it this way dude and i you was trying to like just... fucking put it down just like try and hide my eyebrow like, you should have <laughs> but there was no going i was running head. everything i'm like fuck it i'm browless yeah the coach is like hey uh what happened to your eyebrow i'm like um ask him <laughs> Ask this asshole Ask with that. the black my eye. Fucking t- <laughs> my fucking teammate. Yeah, fucking yeah, yeah, right. Ask the dude with the black eye. He'll tell you. <laughs> he did this. I did that. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'll, I'll take the shaven eyebrow. Yeah, you should have just shaved eye. your head and like everything and been like, I got alopecia. <laughs> <laughs> I've, got, I've got way too good a pair to shave. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> How's my hair look, dude? It's a good one. Or just like. Came up with some witty response like, "Hey, where's your eyebrow at? Oh, I misplaced it." <laughs> like, and then you'd be like, "Okay, heads or tails." Um, <laughs> hey, that's not how it works in Which baseball. I fucking it? flew out the window. I was like, driving here. Window was down. Fucking just went off on the highway. It's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, going, ba- going back to that story of uh, Bailey, though, he apparently oh, was, yeah, like, yeah. one bet away from, like, 50K or something like that. It came down to one game on the day, mm-hmm. and, yeah, yeah, he, he was – whatever happened, the game went against his favor, but he was sitting there uh, at work in Domino's with my roommate, the guys. The yeah, one yeah, he he's met. working at Domino's because I would always request him for delivery when I was playing golf with him. Oh, no but shit. Then, yeah, his, like, special message was, like, is Bailey working? If so, can he deliver? <laughs> and I give him like a dab or something for his. Hey, there you go. His tip. <laughs> Here's a dab, brother. I'm sure, he loved it. Pretty I mean, good fuck, tip. He was loving out. it. Yeah, he got to hang out for a second. All yeah, ba- Bailey's cool guy. If I was a fucking pizza delivery person, I would definitely take a dab for a tip. Oh yeah, definitely. Hundred percent. Why not? Get you through the work shift. I think I've done that. To be honest. You probably have. Yeah. Or like a, I think he, I think one time he showed up and I didn't have something? any money. I'm like, dude, I'm sorry. I don't have <laughs> I don't have my wallet. <laughs> Pick can out I, something in this room and you can, can have I, it. <laughs> <laughs> Come in here, can I just get you high? <laughs> um Yeah, Bailey you went to Timberland with him? Yeah. Uh, Did you uh you remember when he went to um what was that, PGA championship up at Bell Reeve in St. Louis? I no. went to that as well. You remember he got that gig, that photography gig? Yes, because I walked past passed. him and this other girl from my high school, and they were, like, taking pictures. And then I – my uh, – my well, he's my roommate now, but you guys didn't meet this roommate. But he – his uh, stepdad ended up buying us, like, all tickets to oh, this. Yeah, Trud guy, ended up getting in it, there, that too. That guy's dating uh, Lucy, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. I, yeah. Work, I work with Lucy. They were upstairs on the couch when I went up there. No fucking yeah, I was way. Like, I was like, hey, what's up? What are you doing here? <laughs> no way. Okay, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, he asked me, he goes, you podding? I was like, hell yeah, I'm podding. <laughs> Dude, I pod hella hard. <laughs> First Dude, podcast, I pod harder I'm than you, I'm podding bro. pretty hard. All right, I got a question for us. <laughs> Give me it. What is your guys' favorite thing to do in life? What? Favorite thing? What is your favorite activity hobby hobby you name it what is your favorite thing you do every day one day once a month play what golf. is your favorite thing you do play golf golf twice so. get fucking I twice said set. i said set. <laughs> bang you twice bitch <laughs> let's go <laughs> that is the name of the game right there get fucked you don't even love golf now <laughs> i still love golf what you heard what I said. <laughs> See, if you guys didn't explain the the, the factor of this game, I would right. just be I'd be so a, lost. I'd be so sitting here like weird. Connor, like whenever that dude was jerking off at Soar, and like, <laughs> just like, oh god, what's going on right now? Here. Off, <laughs> I'm gonna let them do their thing. <laughs> <laughs> I feel I'm like on. I shouldn't have said that now. What if the guy this guy watches this? He's like, I'm gonna find him. <laughs> <laughs> I thought he was asleep. <laughs> he, he told me he didn't hear anything. <laughs> Uh, funny going on dude, I wasn't fucking jacking off. Dude. <laughs> I told you I was working my wrist. <laughs> <laughs> fucking do homework, dude. What the fuck? <laughs> What's your favorite thing? 
That's a that's a really that's good a really question. Good, I, I agree. He answered. It I haven't good. done a lot of it, but traveling, like traveling, uh, like you know, like a big traveling Going venture on, with yeah, like I some agree. of your good buddies and whatnot. You have some great traveling stories too. I do. Then you did. That, I was only gone three weeks. You but. did that trip across the west. I guess you kind of did a little bit of east too, right? Uh, no, no, we went all west. west? We started in St. Louis, no. then Kansas City, then Denver, and it was with those two Australian guys. Yeah, like, when's the last time you talked to Harry, dude? I, dude, he's living life. You right see now. him right now? Oh my god, how long has he been on a tr- on a like fucking across the world trip? I I think he's doing two months in South America and he one month in Europe. He just left South Europe. America. He just left Bolivia because all those protests and riots are happening in Bolivia. That's crazy. Yeah. So maybe, maybe is he out of South America completely? I'm not sure. I know he's out of Bolivia. Okay. He maybe he's in maybe he's working his way up to Mexico or something. Maybe maybe. Central America somewhere. I don't that'd know. be kind of cool. That'd be cool if he came back. Like, if he visited Springfield, man, that'd be crazy. That would be. That would be really cool. I have him on Snapchat. Me still. and you spent, like, me and you specifically, and Breen, obviously. Yeah. We spent a lot of time with those guys. I loved hanging out with that. Well, Zach was pretty cool, but Harry, he was the man. <laughs> so yeah, that yeah. That sucks. I'm sorry if you see this, Zach. You're a great guy, too. <laughs> but <laughs> Harry was the man. He was so cool. Uh, yeah, I loved hanging out with him because we were freshmen then. Well, you were a sophomore, I guess, with credits. Yeah, but, yeah. But, I mean, that was, like, still, like, our first time at Missouri State and everything. We are like, wow, just these Australian dudes, and they want to hang out with us. It was literally guys, our second semester at, at Missouri State. Yeah. yeah. Damn. And these Wait, guys were so, so when, cool. So, when did you uh, come to Missouri State? Uh, my sophomore year. Sophomore year. When we were freshmen. And pretty much how so I got so to so know you're, these you're guys. older than us? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So how I got to know these guys is okay, uh, boomer. <laughs> what can I say? What can I say? Fucker. Uh, actually, Ross Sider, he had that party and he used to live at that house right behind here. Yeah, like it's literally right behind here. And oh, I didn't really? even, even know that house for years later because I know the guys who live there now. And I walked in there. And I was like, this is the fucking house I met the Australians in. <laughs> like I was just in there one day. I was like, what the fuck? <sighs> That's crazy. Because at the time I, I had seen this shit before. <laughs> At the time, like I, at the time, I just didn't know this area of campus very well, right? And it it was really foreign whenever I was in there. But I, I just remember that that upstairs area, and um, yeah, so I met them there, and then they ended up, they so they ended up at that Capasig party, and then they also happened to be living in my old room. So whenever I moved out of the dorms, I moved into the fraternity house, and these dudes moved into my dorm because like we had the extra spot. What, and then they what, were, and I was still really uh, house, good buddies with you, my uh, uh, live in? uh oh the Kappa Sig house. Kappa Sig house. Uh huh. And then Connor was over there like every day. Oh, okay. And so then the yeah, Australians yeah, started coming over like what every day. You guys hang out in your you, dorm. You guys didn't live together. No. Okay. We were just we were just we were we were Plunk brothers in the fraternity, and you know how you gotta live in like the dorms for certain. Yeah, I'm that bullshit. But you can apply to move out. So he did that. At semester, uh, moved into the Because I didn't have credit hours because I already had my first. Right, because you gotta have like belt. thirty hours or whatever for. Yeah. yeah. I technically sure. didn't have to move into the dorms, but I didn't know what else the fuck to do. Like just another I way down, out of the dorms. Just dorms another way Missouri blow. State leaks money out of you. Dude. So right? true. Get here seven thousand dollars or what is it like almost eight thousand dollars? Yeah. Come live in the dorms, not because we want you to, because you have to. Yes. You like literally have, you have to. to. Oh, and you have Wait. to have a. A fucking uh, meal plan as well. Oh, you have to. Yeah. Where are you going to eat? Yeah. In your dorm? No way. Go eat. Ridiculous. <laughs> and shitty food. They know the terrible system. Terrible food. Dude, have you ever... So Garst they, isn't terrible. So back I to will it. Say, Gar- I will defend Garst. <laughs> Garst wasn't bad. Gar- so I do enjoy some Garst. a bug in your salad or something. That, or a rat in a your rat. salad. That's rat. what it was. Fuck that, dude. Dude, Columbia, like Mizzou's dining halls. Oh, my God. That shit's crazy. You I've never like a, been there. Oh, my God. I went to their dining halls twice a couple years back. You get, like, a chicken sandwich. So they're like, oh, chicken? Pull out, like, a fucking fresh chicken pre- breast and put it on the grill. And you're like, like a live chicken? <laughs> yeah. Just chop like, the head like, off. Like it was gobbling when you got it served. Hold on to this. I need tension on the neck. <laughs> <laughs> Crack it. Come on, guys. <laughs> no, but they pull out, like, a nice chis- chicken breast and throw it on the grill. I'm like, whoa, you guys are really going to, like, grill that right now and give me a chicken sandwich, like, fresh? I was just blown away. Yeah, their dining halls That's beautiful. are miles so, ahead of Missouri State. Back to it. Your favorite thing is to travel? Traveling guy. Maybe it's because I haven't had much experience with it. If if I'm saying like a hobby, I'd say they're doing this or soccer. Soccer. One of those two. 
You still play soccer? Yeah, I play a fair amount. Where do you club club team or no? What do you, what do you the, play? I wish. Did you just play on the Kappa Sig team that won the championship. Yeah. Again? Hell yeah. Yeah, we won the championship, well, at, which is uh, cool. Like nice. uh, what league in soccer do you play there? Uh, just like IFC. Oh, okay, fraternity league. So like that, and then like right. whenever I go home, I play like Veta with some well, of my old right. high school buddies. Dude, Veta's oh, yeah. the spot. Just it's fun, awesome. man. Fuck around, kick it around. Yeah. Some people take it too seriously, and then like. Right. Get too like, wild, dude, too into on. it. Oh, just having yeah. fun. People try to start fights and stuff. It's like, yes. dude, it's an indoor soccer league, and half of my team is hammered. Like, oh, <laughs> exactly. No, we are all hammered, and <laughs> we're just having fun. I'm like, sorry we're beating you, but whatever. I think my favorite thing is honestly probably going out to eat. <laughs> <laughs> I like, like it. I love. I just love going into a restaurant and just having a good experience, a good waiter. A good drink, great food, and appetizer. And Favorite restaurant, love it. one, two, three, go Cheddars. <laughs> is that what you're going to say? <laughs> Fav- no, uh, my favorite restaurant is Nakato's. Oh, well, that's... Uh, that's yeah, high dollar. Different, different. I'm not going there. That's always my ter- love parents. Oh, I love Cheddars, but I can't go into Nakato's on my own budget. Yeah, that's true. Oh, I love Cheddars. Nakato's is so good. You ever been to Nakato? No, I'm trying to think that that even is. It's I'm right also by, trying to think of my it's, own restaurant. It's like a, right it's like a hibachi a steakhouse. So it's like the thing oh, where those they, places are where they yeah. where they make the food shrimp, in front of you shrimp. and everything. And the guy's always funny. He's oh, like right. he's like charmingly talking Asian. jokes, right? Charmingly yeah. Asian. <laughs> and then there's a kid in the group, and he like throws a fake like shrimp, like fake finger on him or something like that. That's what they <laughs> cannot. They did that. They a fake finger. <laughs> they did that to me as a kid, and I was fucked up. He threw me a fake finger. I'm like, what the. <laughs> He's like, it's fake. I'm like, that's fucking quack. I'm getting out of here. That's quack. <laughs> I'm like, Austin, get back here. It's just, a f- it's, it's fake. You just come back. It's I your would birthday. Definitely, I would definitely. <laughs> no, actually, see, the, the funny thing is, there's a funny that. picture of me. Like, Nicaros is my favorite place, and there is a picture of me because I wanted a uh, dessert for my birthday, and they brought me out pineapple, a pineapple cake for my birthday, and I was pissed. And so there is a fucking. Birthday picture of me of the chef holding my arms up and me crying like this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm on my birthday in the Cottos with a cake. He's like holding my arms up with like candles and everything. Like, I don't want this. <laughs> but I take it all back. Nakato, shout out. Was this Love like you. two years ago or something? Or how, how long? It was my this? seventh birthday. But okay, okay. <laughs> 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 I got. I, 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 looking back at it, like I feel so bad. Like I bet my mom and like the cooks so, are like, oh my god, like this kid's crying on his birthday because we brought him a fucking free cake. And I'm sitting there, like, I don't want this. <laughs> this kid must hate this pineapple. This is pineapple. <laughs> And I love pineapple. I literally love pineapple. It's my favorite thing. <laughs> <laughs> or that's what that's what the girls kept telling me to eat. So. Oh my <laughs> god! Oh, it's like subtle flex. <laughs> subtle flex. <laughs> Some light. Some this light on. <laughs> this episode of Jordan's what is it? Subjective perspective. Yeah, yeah. Brought to you by Dole pineapples. <laughs> Brought to you by Nakato's pineapples. Eat what makes your semen taste good. <laughs> okay, easy, Connor. We need. We didn't need to go there. You said it. You, you fucked it up. You took it way too fucking far. I love how you can hear it. Like you can subtly <laughs> hear it. You can subtly <laughs> hear, the, like, <laughs> hear the babe. <laughs> oh, this is eight up. Hell yeah. I love this. This is fun. Wait, wait. You guys say eight up. I say. But I you're love from Springfield. Eight up. You're from Springfield. Yeah. I've never met somebody from Springfield that says eight up. Really? Yeah. St. I Louis love has a ton of twang, dude. Yeah, a right. Ton of slang and just twang things. Okay, no, here say. actually, that's what I realized when I was living that in subject, Chicago. Speaking on that subject, I did not know what a boogan was until I went to college, and I lived in Springfield my whole life. I didn't know what a boogan was. So boogan's like, a Missouri like, State thing. Do you think it's like the no, foreigners boogan, coming here? Boogan is a St. Louis and Kansas City thing, and because there's a lot of people from St. Louis and Kansas City that come to Missouri State. Well, I've never heard here. that in St. Louis. Then I guess it's the Kansas I heard it the first thing. time when I came down to Missouri State, and my parents never heard it either. When they came yeah, down it was the a first college thing. I, I it to asked them. my freshman my year, I'm like, "What the fuck's a boogan?" They're like, you don't know what the fuck a boogan is. I'm like, no, what the fuck is it? Like, it's a homeless person. Homeless person. I'm like, I've never heard that before. Oh well. Yeah, I remember walking. So I, around. I learned it when I came to college, though. So. I was uh, I was walking downtown with uh, who was it? Brendan Ella Rockton, Henry Rob, oh, and God. and they're like, "Oh, 
this is this is vintage, and they like showed me around, and there's that one dude. You guys know who I'm talking about. It's like there's two twins. Oh yeah. No, it's those yeah. twins oh. with like the the like buzz cut and then like the glasses, and they're just like they're always in the clubs. Like, oh, by are they old white? Yeah, and, yeah. Like, yeah. They're, they're yeah, like know. got disabilities. You know, right? Yeah. I, th- I think that might be right. I, I have no idea. I have no idea. There's a bunch. Of, there's a bunch of stories about them. From what I've heard, is they both like gotten like a bad car wreck or something, and then they just have like oh. hella money. So that's why they're always at the bars. At yeah, they're definitely not boogans because they dress very well. They dress very really? well, and they are at every single bar on Springfield every single night. Like yeah, they always are. always partying. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they and, get fucked up. And they've got something fucked up with them, for sure. So I think they got, from what I heard, someone told me they got in a, like, a car crash and they got like totally fucked up and they just got hella money from it, so... If somebody can fact check us and send this in, and right? That was, honestly, I'm if someone no, can find it out and fact check yeah. it, because that's what I've heard, let us know. Please let me know, because those dudes, I mean, they can't work. They're, they're Springfield they're, legends, they're honestly. So f- they're Springfield legends. Everybody knows who they are. Like I, I mean this in like the least. I'm not trying to be, like, aggressive or like mean any words. Like they're like, they have disabilities, so it's like. They have money somehow. No, straight up, I had no idea they had disabilities. Like, yeah, I, I thought they were. Sure I thought they do. were definitely off. I'm like, like, I mean, they're definitely off. I mean, you can just take like they. D- but I was like, but from what I've so. heard, they got in a bad car wreck and got like some bad brain stuff, and they got he- hella. Have you ever tried to talk to them? Uh, no, no. I've, you don't I've, been, want I've to. just it's, admired it's them. Tea, well, I well I've talked to them before, um, once or twice, and I know that like. You can tell that they have like trouble talking and like speaking and stuff. And just like, like that, their movements, like they're just like they're not. But they're also fucking party starters. They're Dude, always they're so there can be an, down to party. There can be an empty dance floor at any club. I'm sure you've seen and they're it before. Fucking and they will be there just dancing. Just like they don't give. It. They don't. They don't care. I you love know, it. like we're just having a good time. Honestly, I, I fucking that. wish I was them. I honestly feel like we kind of have that dynamic too. Because we're always, like, the ones, like, we always make these just goofy dance videos and stuff. And, we'll, like, I was doing this at the PSU today. I was just, like, standing in the corner. I was like, hey, Austin. And he didn't hear me. I was, like, doing this weird dance just move for the around. longest time until I got his attention. He looked over and just started laughing. But I'm like, I don't really care about embarrassing myself. Like, I've done enough embarrassing things in my 22 years. Yeah, right. 22 and, and three, four And the years. embarrassing times are still climbing. So. Yeah, a little bit. Uh, I'd say same for myself. Not I a think bit. I think I've plateaued, but thank thank you. <laughs> uh, thankfully, pla- I still have him. Here you've to plateaued, me. Connor, but you're still on the plateau itself. You have not plateaued. Well, well you can't ever go down with embarrassing moments. You have them. They well, a plateau you. is you go up. A plateau. You just made that word up. What the hell did you say? A plateau. A plateau. Is that <laughs> is? And you go straight and then back down. A plateau. Apparently, Springfield lives out on a, uh, what he said? Plateau. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Is that what it was? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, Springfield lives on a plateau. I would believe that because, I mean, we, we got like we live on a, a fucking Springfield's right here, then everything else is fucking <laughs> down here. <laughs> That's funny. That's funny. Man, nice. That was a good fact. Yeah, thanks, bro. <laughs> This sick fact. I'm full of facts. Great facts. Big fat guy. Big. Or facts. Facts. <laughs> oh, no. no. big Will fat be. and This fat guy can guy. eat more than anybody you've ever met. Not yeah. lately. I'm w- actually kind of worried about you lately. I've been losing weight. Why have you not been eating as much as normal? Money. <laughs> no, that's <laughs> not it. That's not it. That is exactly you've been, it. You have taken home leftovers from a restaurant multiple times in the last because I have had not have money to eat as much as I usually do, so I've usually just gone one meal a day. I take this kid to the buffet, and they will double charge him. I swear, not actually, but they should. Give me some <laughs> food right now, and I'll put. Wait, wait, oh, I give see me some saying. fucking food saying. right now, and I'll put a show on right now. He also takes forever to eat. I'm a slow eater. I wait, that's a thing. That's a thing. I forgot what it's called. It's like an Asian sounding word, but you pretty much just eat food and then pretty much do like a podcast. Like, it, there's, like, a kind of content. I mean, I'm so down. That's, like, my favorite thing. I talking, could figure it out. Talking, I just don't care talking enough Talking and right eating. Now. I don't eat know what talk else I would want. Eat and talk and ease. Eat and talk and ease? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> eat, eat and ease. Is, I believe, I believe that, that was called P.F. Chang's. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Have you guys been Damn, to that now place? I'm fucking hungry. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, like, I started thinking I was, about food. I, after I was that like, literally like, corn. I'm like, damn, I'm gonna eat some food right now. <laughs> Let's go to sure. Chandler's. Wait, what's the? Uh, have you guys close. been to that? Um, it's on Kimbro. It's on Kimbro across the street from Rice like House. Subway. Rice House. Is that good? Is it no, worth checking out? Sucks. No, sucks. Don't go there. Oh really? No. Hong Gross. Kong Inn. Everyone, if you like Chinese food, go to fucking Hong Kong Inn. It's a way to go. If you like crab rangoons, uh, anything, Hong Kong Inn. Hong Kong Inn's average. Is it is it buffet? No. No, it's not. It's okay. average. If you're looking for a Chinese buffet, I'm going to give a little shout out myself. I ate 41 crab rangoons <laughs> and a full meal noodles, chicken, rice, shrimp, and 41 crab rangoons at Chinese Chef. No. Asian Chinese buffet. That's what yep. it's called. That's where forty one crab rangoons. Forty one crab rangoons wearing the Dirk forty one jersey. Dirk Nowitzki, Mavericks wearing the forty one jersey. Put this on the record though. Eight, they forty one crab the rangoons. Small, the small goons. They were they were small mini goons. crab rangoons, but still very impressive feet. So it, it was like two bite goons, mini crab rangoons. Two bite goons. But I ate a full meal. As but that well. is eighty two bites of goon. And I ate forty one <laughs> crab rangoons. <and> <laughs> The thing is, like, if 41 crab rangoons, that's sick, but, like, I don't, I, I'm not even kidding. I ate a, a chicken, shrimp, rice, and noodles. Like, I Can ate you hand me those? so much. <laughs> Good thing we have the paper <laughs> yeah. towels. No, the paper towels. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Cotter saw it. I think the, I think the bike's, <laughs> I, like, yeah, covered right. up. Hey, I get a cold right now, but Jordan yeah, played say, with the flu. That weather, so it'll get you out right there. Flu game. Jordan's flu game right here. Oh, right here, baby. Then, Podcasting. I'm gonna, I'm gonna We're go potting hard. We're potting I'm gonna hard. Go potting. Keep, I'm going to go and keep potting. flexing on my, on my eating challenges here. So I also ate four foot long chili cheese dogs from Sonic. Four. Just to put wow, that, yeah, put yeah, that those in things. perspective, that's four feet of bun, <laughs> chili, cheese, and dog. <laughs> and then. Dude, those things are. Fi- I think I've. What's, oh. I did, oh, this is my best one. No, you didn't. You ate three and a oh, half. So you couldn't finish the fourth. 12 Calling egg you cheese, out. 12 oh. egg he cheese. He didn't sauce. eat the fourth. Eight, three, three and, and a half. half. Say it. Say how it is. Three and a half. Three and a half. But still, that's three and a half feet. That is a lot of chili <laughs> cheese. Dog. That's three and a half feet of dog that's chili almost. cheese bun and dog again. <laughs> it's probably like half your height. Another feat was 12 egg cheese sausage McMuffins. So here's a funny story on that. So I put it on a snap story. I'm like, yo, everyone bet me that I can't eat 12 egg cheese sausage McMuffins from McDonald's right now. Everyone bets me. I'm like starving, whatever. I'm like, dude. Pe-. So some people bet me. They bet me like uh, I think got like thirty bucks on it, maybe like I was like five bucks. Got a couple of people in it. Go to McDonald's. Can I get a twelve egg cheese sausage McMuffins? That'll be uh, fifty-five, fifty forty-seven at the window. <laughs> Yikes! <laughs> so go up, and uh, it's fifty-five dollars. But you got you got some money. I only have on this, thirty dollars right? on this, so I'm going to lose money whether I lose this bet, whether I win this bet. So I get the 12 inch sausage McMuffins, and I'm like, dude, I can't lose this bet. Like, I'm going $60 in a hole if I do this. Like, so banged them all out, muscled through it, and I still fucking lost 20 bucks. <laughs> <laughs> like, what the fuck was the point? I lost you 20 did, bucks. You needed to put a contingency in there, like, you guys have to pay for all I was just so high, muffins. and I was so hungry. I'm like, dude, I, I know I can eat 12 of them right now. Like, I know I can't. Speaking of food eating challenges, you had Ross's buddy on here, didn't you? Um, uh, wait, wait. Ross knows him as well? Ross uh, had a class with him. That's how he met him. No shit. Because yeah, yeah. actually, I was going to have a food eating challenge against him. It never we happened. We were supposed to. It never happened. We should what, against probably Randy get that Santel? working. Randy, no. Randy Santel, I reached out to him, and I got advice from him on how to prepare for my – we were going to have a Sonic oh, yeah, we against it. him. Yeah. Oh, And Randy right. Santel Here's gave me we were advice to do it. for it. Eat watermelon. Rocks. Watermelon 24 hours he before. He told me to get really hydrated and stuff, like – all that and I was like, all right, I got all these tips, and it never ended up happening. But we should totally make that a thing. We should, yeah. we should get that going again. If you guys do it, film it, film it. That'd right. be sick. Oh, yeah. P. Definitely. Well, the thing is, See, here, here's <laughs> here's my problem. I'm gonna go into my thing. So, I got fake. He's teeth saying right the now. exact same thing that I'm gonna say too. Yeah. I got fake teeth right now. So, long story short, Wait, you I have fake teeth too. No. Oh. oh okay. <laughs> my front four teeth are fake. I got my uh, front. Wait, two- wait. Can you smile? Is that how Beautiful, you smile? Right? Is that really Beautiful. how you smile? 
<laughs> I mean, I'm high. I'm drunk. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, 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 I mean, it's me smiling. Right no, right those, look, those look real. I mean, right? No, yeah. Like very, really, real. really, really good. Yeah. Exactly. Beautiful veneers. <laughs> it's a bridge. Get Great it right. canines. It's a fucking bridge. So, when I was 11, I got my. I was playing frisbee, up in Washington D. State. My uh, parents were on a cruise. Literally the last day I'm staying there, I'm out there with my friend that I was visiting and his dad. Throws the frisbee. I start running for the frisbee. Frisbee's coming right over the top. I'm looking over. <laughs> smack a tree. Just bang a tree. Knock my front right tooth out, roots and everything. Chip this one. Go to the dentist in Washington. They fit me in. Put my real tooth back in my mouth. I'm like, you got a 50-50 shot whether these are going to be real or not. Because, like, once your tooth leaves your body and then goes back into your body, it sees it, like, as a, a foreign object. So it starts to attack it. So... Long story short, had that for a while, got a double root uh, root canal, and uh, got um, braces on it. And then after I got my braces off, they're like, hey, your teeth are starting to decay. got to put a bridge on it. So we chiseled down these front four teeth down to little nubs like this. So like, if I, like, this is one connected thing right now. If I took this off, it'd be the front four chiseled down teeth like that. So got my permanent on, and then I could bite and everything. Then I got jumped downtown, got my fucking teeth busted, took my wallet. Wait, why'd you get jumped? Oh, got the Were you shit also 12? kicked out of him. What? <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding about that there part. Was but, uh, I, 12-year-old I turned around. One of my buddies was, uh, there was six uh, monsters, African-American dudes. Oh, God, and, uh, say that. I mean, they were big, and they fucked us up. So I turned around. They were fucking... Uh, for no reason? Curb stomping my buddy. Fucking I'm sure there socked, was a reason. Sock, sock me. And then took took our wallets and busted my teeth. And then the uh, ambulance came the other night. They're like, what year was it? And I said 2012 was 2018. So I was so fucked up. Anyways, got my teeth busted. And so I had to go get that fixed. Broke so other friends' nose. Right right now, yeah. this is a uh, temporary right now. So I'm waiting to get for like my gums to repair so I can get a permanent on. So... Long story short, I have to cut my food. I can't bite the food. So that's the big challenge that we're having with the food eating contest. Because I eat my food very fast. Which is and the he eats very which, slow. Which is the key to eating a lot. Is you, so, got, you have to eat fast. Yeah. So right, that's right. Also, so I sit there, I have to cut my food and eat it. That's a big thing with our challenge, too. Because we want to like, challenge each other to it. But it's just, right now, it's just like, it's it a wouldn't be it's fair. A ba- it's a battle. Because if we're going to do like a timed challenge, I'm going to crush him. Right, if we're going to do like a certain amount of food, I would kick his ass unless I fill unless I fill up, you know, which is not that hard honestly as of lately. But like, if I can get started, I can get going pretty good. But if it, with him right now, the the teeth are just honestly just such a big like that really is. It's, it's just a huge hurdle for yeah. like. Look, I think I I got a double cheeseburger. Everything I have to cut it up. Like I cannot bite into. Anything. We were at the PSU today, and he he got his Freddy's burger, and I was biting into mine. He was like. I'm gonna do he it. Was like, he was like, you know what? Fuck it. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. And he like started eating it. And I, I was, was I was like, white. hell yeah! Like, I was going white. I would bite it. I go. This guy works at Black Sheep, and he gets a Black Sheep burger, and he has to sit there and cut it up. Cut he, it. It's just so hard to watch, honestly. Dude, Dude what, do mean, what do people say? It's been since say? it's been since February since I've been able to bite into food. It's been tough. And I'm a like you can wow. follow me on Snapchat. I'm like the biggest food guy. You love me. Big old nasty huff, Adam. Big old nasty. Big huff. old big old nasty. Me. At big old nasty huff. You heard. Red Sundays and food. You got it. You got it. I like that. Big old nasty. Big, big old, old nasty. <laughs> That's Which sucks. is terrible. No, when see, he's here's the thing. On girls at the it, bar. It, right. No, see, it used to be my Instagram <laughs> name. I'm like, dude, I gotta change this. Like anytime fucking big old nasty huff has a requester to follow you. That just does not look good. So I'm like, <laughs> I definitely like, changed it on Instagram, and you can't fucking change it on Snapchat. <laughs> and I fucking got it on like fucking what, like a freshman sophomore year when I was in high school. I can't fucking change it. And I got I, it from the, I got it from that dude that said old. Uh, I have been around him. <laughs> it was a YouTube like, video. I've been around him when he's hitting on girls at the bar, and he like adds them on Snapchat, and they're like, "Oh yeah, I got you." Big old, Big old nasty, nasty hub. Like, <laughs> <laughs> and he's like, yeah, it's been Damn it. straight, <laughs> baby. <laughs> and it still works, don't it? I got to take a pee. <laughs> I like that. I like that Big a lot. Big old nasty. Uh, 
Top of the stairs, take a left, you'll find it. You'll find it. You'll find it. Figure it out. It's a one floor. (laughs) (laughs) Wait, so Ross knows Randy Santel. Yeah, Ross knows Randy Santel very well. No fucking way. Okay. That's how Atlas turns his hat around and goes, Atlas. (laughs) (laughs) No, You you know what he listens to whenever he, like, is listening? Taylor Swift, dude. It's crazy. He's such a big guy, too. He's, like, an intimidating person. He's like, yeah, my food challenges. You know, I just ate like five pounds of food. I just listened to a Taylor Swift album. Maybe like, some Avril Lavigne thrown in there. <laughs> yeah, like what, dude? No, Ross has a uh, Ross is what PT, uh, physical therapy. Okay, yeah, yeah. Ross yeah. is in that PT program with him, and uh, or AT athletic therapy. Okay, athletic training, whatever, whatever it is. And uh, yeah, he's in that program with him, and he's he's had a few classes with him, and because that's how Ross originally like showed me him. He was like, uh, this is my buddy that I have classes with, like, watch his videos. I'm like, oh, my God, this guy just put away, like, three and a half pounds of breakfast food in under 30 minutes. This is crazy impressive. This is, I mean, some people are like, oh, that's gross. I mean, that's entertaining to me. That's awesome. (laughs) Yeah, so. And and, and a fuck ton of the internet, too. Yeah, I I mean. He's famous. A lot of the internet. He's literally famous. Yeah, he's he's YouTube famous, right? Or Instagram or whatever. What what platform? I'd say YouTube. YouTube. YouTube and Facebook. YouTube's gotten, YouTube's blown up. Yeah, and that YouTube fight just happened. What? Logan Paul on KSI. KSI And Logan Paul, yeah. You know who? That's uh, crazy. You know who that Bradley Martin guy is, right? No, I don't. Bradley Martin, the big old, like, the big weightlifter. No. He's really famous on, like, Instagram and YouTube, too. And um, do you know who, uh, what is it, Vitaly? Vitaly or yes. whatever? So he's hanging out with Dan Bilzerian now, starting yeah. that company, so, Ignite. So does, like, Brad, Bradley Martin, but Vitaly no kind of, like, stepped up to Bradley Martin during that fight and just, like, whatever round it was and put his hands on his throat. And Bradley Martin's huge. Like, he's a big-ass dude. Bradley Martin just turned around and just, and cracked this guy. Yeah. It's Wait, cracked his, Vitaly? Or yeah. Cracked? Yeah, like, three times. At the fight, at the Logan Paul fight, no shit. Yeah, in the stands, it's pretty crazy to watch, honestly. Do you do you mind pulling up that video? Yeah, I'm you curious. Want me to? Yeah, I'm curious. Yeah, yeah, he hit him a couple times, and Vitaly was like, "Oh, that's it, that's it," and then kind of shook it off. Wait, why do you do that? Because Vitaly put his. I don't remember what was being said. I don't really know. You can't really hear because the whole fight's going on in the background. Yeah, absolutely. But um, yeah, Bradley Martin just cracked him. Yeah, I've never heard of Bradley Mart- Martin. That's crazy. Martin. YouTubers really are the next big celebrities. Oh, my God. I follow more they YouTubers are. than I do fucking um. They make like so much money, too. Click on that top one. Yeah, right? Yeah, they make so much money. Oh, God. Here comes Big Old Nasty. Back at it again. Oh, my God. Big Back Old Nasty. Big Old Nasty up, baby. Doom. Boom. Boom. Yeah, that's a big guy. Vitaly's pretty big. But yeah, Vitaly's not small at all. No, but Bradley Martin's the next level. I mean, he made his money off being like a bodybuilder, and then he turned it into being famous. And if you listen to that video, you could hear people, like, right when Vitaly goes to, like, tap him, everybody's like, yo, don't touch him, don't touch him. Like, he just punched you in the face. I don't know what it was about. I don't know if that's they had crazy. some YouTube beef or something before that. I thought it was faked for a second. Like the whenever you were describing it, I thought they were doing it for a show or yeah, for or for some like you yeah. know like kind of hyping up something else. Yeah, I thought it was kind of like for a show or something. But then I on I saw on Bradley Martin's page he was talking about it and he was like, "Yeah, here's the fight. They took it down because he posted on Instagram. They took it down. He's like, if you want to still see it, I got it up on my YouTube. Like all this stuff. And he was kind of making a joke out of it because obviously he was in." You know, the higher standing of it. Like, mm-hmm. he was standing there, Vitaly um, kind of initiated the whole thing, and he kind of finished it. So, what has he got to lose off of it? Yeah, true. You know? But you won't see anything about Vitaly. You won't see Vitaly posting anything about it, because who wants to post that? Hey, I got my ass kicked by Bradley Martin. I just saw a thing where Vitaly goes in. He has his mom and his Ferrari, and he drives – into this like zoo area and then has a tiger like get on top of this car and like kind of like pounce on the car and then a smaller puma or something like that gets inside the a car and stands animal. it's a some cat. A, a jungle cat of some sort some sort of and it, it she like it goes through the window and then sits on top of his mom and his mom is freaking the fuck out like he got his mom good 
But also, it's like, dude, I, I wouldn't want to put my mom through that emotional trauma, what he, like, does in that video. It's crazy. Dude, Vitaly used to be so funny with, like, all of his pranks and everything, but I feel like I haven't do- seen him do, like, pranks or anything in so long. Now he just does, like, porn. Yeah, Vi- Vitaly Uncensored? Uh, yeah, what is up with that? I don't know what to he say. He just gets, like, really, all these really, like, hot chicks, like, influencers and stuff, and he, like, Make some. I don't know. I've never seen the uncensored part. What is it? Do they just make them do like? You have pranks? to pay for it. I know that. And yeah. I'm, I'm like, I'm and not, I'm paying, not for paying for it. For that. Yeah. Like, um. What do they just do? Like naked pranks or something? I don't. I, don't I know. have no idea. Either way, Vitaly is weird, but he is making money, and he knows how to make money. Man, hang out Dambles here. Yeah, that Bradley Martin guy too. That guy's awesome. So they they're both in. Associated with Ignite in Dude, some way. I don't know if Bradley Martin is because he, I feel like he stays pretty clean out of that stuff just because he's got like his whole bodybuilding thing going on. But he's definitely getting more of like the YouTuber like influencer thing going, especially in the last year or so. Okay. Um, yeah, but I mean, I think he's a pretty cool guy. I love watching like he. You know, he's been uh, he's been with the Nelk Boys a ton in the past few months. Bradley. Bradley Martin. Yeah. Brad, okay, sorry, I'm still not what's remembering up, his what's name. What's the guy's name with the black hair, the milk boy? Is it Jesse? No, no, that'd be um, Kyle. Yeah, Kyle Forgard or something like that. Yeah. yeah. So he's been, like, working out a bunch lately, right? He does that with Bradley Martin. Oh, no shit, okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the, so I feel like Bradley Martin's kind of got to get, like, in with the, the Nelk Boys way more and just kind of, like, expand his platform even more through that because, I mean, the Nelk Boys are... Pff- so profitable right now. Dude, they're killing it. Oh, my God. Just off doing stupid shit, too. I remember seeing awesome. them whenever they were coming up. Like, I got into them spring of 2017, and I was like, these guys are hilarious. These are, like, mm-hmm. the funniest pranksters I've seen in a long time. Right. And it, it's cool because they do, like, pranks, but they do vlogs as well. Like, just how they combine the two is really interesting. Mm-hmm. This is cool. I feel like not many people our age are into, like, the YouTubers, but I'm, I'm like, super into them. I just don't talk about them ever. I used to be really <laughs> big into YouTubers back in, like, when I was young. Like, I used to love fucking Rhett and Link. Like, I used to fucking be all about them. Yeah, and I knew you would be into them, obviously, because you obviously have, like, your podcast and everything going on YouTube. But mm-hmm. it's just hard, like, if you're going to be a part of YouTube, how are you going to not know, like, the top YouTubers and stuff? You know what I mean? True, so I true. knew you would know, like, stuff about that, but... Yeah, obviously a lot of people are not into it, but I feel like our younger generation is just so influential off of those YouTubers too, which is just kind of a problem, honestly. Because like you see, like the Steve will do it, and those guys chugging fifths of tequila on their page, and you got like fourteen-year-old kids trying to do shit like that. I mean, it's crazy. That's why yeah. fucking Max Savage's shit got uh, and taken Instagram, off Instagram. Instagram's getting big, dude. Instagram's deleting so much shit lately. I I used to run a Joe Rogan account with like two hundred twenty-five thousand followers. I ran this thing for like twenty months. Like I grew this thing from like nothing to something, basically. Like that, like that poster right there. I got that sent to me because of owning the account. I made like. Or like it just this semester, you, I, I made two point five thousand. No, but he did DM me. Joe Rogan really? DM me. Yeah, he's he's like, hey, what, what do he say? say? He's like, hey man, uh, you can't be selling anything because I was selling T-shirts. Uh, you of can't his. be selling anything with my name or face on it. Uh, please take this down. My lo- or my lawyers have already started on this. Please take it down before they get ugly. And I thought I thought he was like pretty cool. Yeah, I right, thought he was yeah. pretty cool about Being it. Nice yeah, because obviously he doesn't want to see. He anybody. don't want conflict. He just he, he's letting you know that fucking the lawyers. That's just legal obligations right there. Because Joe Absolutely. Rogan, at the end of it, he is a cool ass dude. Cool dude. I Absolutely. Mean, came from UFC background, doing all the UFC announcing and promoting, and he started his podcast and his like YouTube channel and shit like that. And now, everybody, when you think of Joe Rogan, you don't think of Joe Rogan UFC. You think of Joe Rogan's podcast. Podcast. You know? Yeah, true. Right. Yeah. And he's just, he's he's, a, he's another killing. one that's a very influential person. I mean, dude, he had a podcast with Elon Musk. It's crazy. Holy shit. Which, he's, speaking of that. Bernie Sanders. When he fucking smoked on there. Oh, yeah, Elon. That's crazy <sighs> how uh, down in stock uh, it went after he did that. Yeah, it did. And uh, it's shit that's like crazy. That, man. You never know what can affect your future. I made money off that, too. I was selling t-shirts with, like, Elon smoking weed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This is when we were doing fraternity and shit together, wasn't it? 
Uh, this would have been. No, this is like a, I think this was a year ago. I think it was like say, fall of a, last year. A year, and maybe not even a year. That's, yeah. Damn, that page got taken down. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Dude, I made like a couple thousand. Or I think I made like two thousand five hundred dollars in the first maybe six weeks of the semester, something like that. Because I, I never tried to monetize it until a while, and I think I started getting in trouble because I was selling so many advertisements. Yeah, like more than I ever even followed through on not because like i was being deceptive but just because like one dude paid me like four hundred dollars and he wanted them really spaced out over the course of a few months and i only did like one promo for him and um he was selling some fucking bullshit watches or something like that but um yeah 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 i got shut down unfortunately crazy social media man it's the way of the future social media is fucking crazy dude honestly it is it's crazy how much like I'm blown up. Like I started a how much it impacts everyone's life I started life like now. a golf page for myself just to like try to track my progression in like golf, like the progression of my game. I didn't really stick with it too much, but I had a company reach out to me that was like, "Hey, you've got like 200 followers now. Like, would you like to be an ambassador for like our golf grips?" I was like, "Uh, sure, definitely." And at the time, this is what I was talking about over summer when I was kind of running low on cash, didn't want to break the golf membership. This is when they were reaching out to me, and they're like, all right, we're going to start this ambassadorship. Like, you, if you just buy, like, this much amount of stuff, and then we'll send you, like, double that, and then you just got to, like, promote us on your page, blah, blah, blah. I was like, man, $30 of golf grips right now is just something I don't really need, <laughs> and I never followed through with it. Mm-hmm. But, yeah, it's just shit like that, and they're like, just shout us out on your page, like, tag us in the post. I was like, I don't even post that much to even care about it. But, uh, yeah, it was just, like, Small shit like that, and I only had like two hundred followers. And what you have, like two hundred twenty-five thousand. That's pretty cool. Thousand, yeah, you know? yeah. Like so, I guess that's the difference. They were paying you, and they were trying to get me to pay them. <laughs> that is crazy, though. That's uh, that's kind of entitled to the company, you know. Mm-hmm. Hey, buy our shit. Yeah, uh, and then uh, we'll match what? whatever you buy. You pay. So my plan was, I was gonna get, I was gonna buy enough for like half my set, and they were gonna match me, and I'd be like, oh, I have a full set then of grips. I just never followed through with it. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, yeah. But It's yeah. not a terrible plan. That's a, no. Wait, what are grips? Like, oh, grips, grips like to the... Okay, yeah. They were like these over grips that you wrap over. So like a baseball bat, you know, they like grip their own... How important stuff. is that to your swing? Mm, not that important. But, I mean, if you got some shitty grips, like you're, you're sliding around your gloves, it's not very good. But it's nothing I needed at the time. My grips right. are still pretty well. They last me all season. Probably get some new ones next year, but... Nothing I'm worried about. That's all they sold, though, were golf grips? Golf grips. That's it. And they had, like, oh. gloves and markers and shit like that. And, I mean, you're going to make anything. You can, you're going to try to make anything you can make money off of, you know? It's very, very niche. Very niche. Very small group, but, I mean, at the same time. It's like, I guess it would kind of be like a soccer company trying to sell, like, shin guards. But then we also have shoelaces and we also have soccer balls and shoes right, yeah. and stuff, you know. But our main thing is shin guards. Makes sense. Makes yeah, sense. I don't know. It's kind of weird. I mean, there's something for everybody. What do you think the most expensive sport is? Is golf? Golf's got to be up there. Golf's probably up there. Pretty Hockey? Uh, baseball? It, I say baseball, honestly. No. No way. You gotta buy, Dude. You got to buy Dude, gl- think you about buy- where all the, the – li- Think about where the majority of baseball co- players come th- come from. Is poor countries like Dominican Republic and Cuba and shit. Good point. Because they play. With oh, it looks like yeah. that's falling oh. off. There we go. We're good. Think though, there's no inner city kids that like can play baseball because you got to have a three hundred dollar bat, two hundred dollar glove, cleats. Got to pay for the league. Got to pay to travel. And then you can't make the league because all the Dominican players are doing it. They're playing with rocks. It's not true. They just don't have the <laughs> funds to do it. No, there's inner city Baseball is one of the most for kids all the time. Not much. Wait, Derek Jeter's American, right? Oh, and there's a ton of inner city lacrosse leagues. Yeah, well, <laughs> l- lacrosse is not as even as big as baseball. It's not. But hockey, same as hockey. Hockey's a very expensive sport, too. Hockey is expensive as hell. That's why because it's how often all Canadians. I feel like, I feel like golf would be more expensive than baseball. 
Is, am I wrong about that? Uh, this is coming from somebody baseball, who doesn't know a ton here, about either one. Baseball's a lot because I played travel and baseball when I was growing up. I mean, you got to pay for leagues, got to pay for travel, hotels, all this traveling, mm-hmm. bats, gloves, uniforms. I mean, dude, it's 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 a lot of money to play on a good baseball team. I really. played on that junior team USA team. We yeah. talked about this. I played on. I, I don't know. Have we talked about this? Uh, no, I don't Michigan? think so. I played. Uh, in middle school, I played on this uh, jun- junior team USA baseball team. Oh, nice. So it was in my seventh and eighth grade. I made the team. I was pitching in this tournament um, out in, what was it, like Pacific, Missouri or something. And it was our, I was playing on this rec team. It was just like my fun team with my friends. I was playing on a different, like, select team. But I was playing on this rec league, to, rec league too, just with my friends. I was out there pitching. We got absolutely – obliterate like just i think the score was like 20 something to one it was terrible like we got destroyed but i started pitching pitched like six innings but we had so many errors and stuff because it was just a fuck around team but my earned run average for the game was like two because there were so many errors and shit and this guy approached me i'm like i'm in like seventh grade i'm waiting in the concession stand i'm like fuck yeah gonna get a candy bar and a slurpee like this is how it goes let's get it this guy approached me. He's like, hey, man, uh, where are your parents? I'm like, who the fuck are you, man? <laughs> like, what do you mean? What do you want to see? My Stranger danger. Yeah, I'm like, what uh-uh. the fuck? And it looked like uh, like a Joe Dirt cousin and a decked <laughs> out in, like, USA baseball gear. I'm like, mm, whatever. You're right over there. And he went over to him and gave him a business card and everything. He's like, I want your son to come try out for this team. Went and tried out, made it. It's a good time. Uh, it was like me and I think our we had – uh, 12 guys on the team and we took 10 of us over to japan and we played oh this, yeah we played an international tournament in japan we were there for 10 days and nine nights and this is the first time i ever traveled without my parents and we're going out of the country that's crazy yeah we're going to japan and uh we get over there well, how many adults are in charge of these what like 10 kids there was three it was our coaches wow okay and we stayed with host families we stayed with the Japanese players' families. So we didn't even Damn. see our coaches except for the games and stuff. Uh-huh. So this is, like, a pretty big deal. We're like, what the fuck? So we got paired up in twos to go stay with these families, and I stayed with three different families over those ten days and nine nights. So it was kind of a crazy thing. With you and the same teammate? Yeah. Okay. And we were just bouncing around. crazy these experience families. right there, honestly. Yeah, it was a huge culture shock. Um, right when we got over there, you know, we're getting off the bus, and – these Japanese people are like amazed that you're from America. They're just crazy because we were in Tokyo for the first day. We stayed the night there. And they're like, all right, and we were just loving it. We're like, this is awesome. We flew in. It was like three in the morning in Tokyo. Still just crazy busy everywhere. We're like, this is so cool. Blah blah blah. And they're like, all right, we're taking you to this hotel, and you guys are going to sleep right now. Don't try to leave your rooms. Nothing. They had us locked down. Hella like, strict. Yeah. I mean, they're like, you're a bunch of American, like, 13-year-olds in Tokyo. Like, you're not going anywhere. Do not even try it. Stressing us. We're like, okay, whatever. Woke up in the morning early as hell. They put us on a bus. Drove us all the way across fucking Japan. We were in uh, Nagahama. So it's, it's, like, right at the base of this mountain. That's where we stayed. And it was just completely 180 from Tokyo. Like, surrounded by farm fields and shit and like this whole town grew up on baseball like everybody in this oh, town wow. played baseball oh, it, it was it, insane it's, it's big it's over in big it's yeah. huge in japan baseball is huge but this whole town like everybody played baseball so we we're staying with these families you know really tough to do anything like conversate or anything with these families obviously huge language barrier but i remember the first like it was like the first day i was with my first family and this um and I was number nine, and the other kid was number ten because we we're they gave us our jerseys based on our size. So I was the second biggest kid on the team. They're like, "Oh yeah, yeah, big American boys," oh, oh. like talking to us and everything. And we're like, "We're hungry." <laughs> right when we started doing that, they're like, "Oh yeah, yeah, <laughs> fucking just full thing of food all out everywhere." We're like, "All right, let's go eat." They're like, "All right, right here." Like, what do you mean? Like, right here, and like, like a little coffee table. They just, like, sat down on their asses and started eating. We're like, all right, yeah. this is how we're doing it. Fair yeah. enough. Yeah, I went to, like, a McDonald's over there. 
McDonald's was pretty crazy. McDonald's was a lot nicer over there than it is here. Oh, yeah. really? Yeah. Oh my They're God. like nice it was restaurants almost, yeah, over there. Yeah, it was there. almost like yeah. a sit, yeah, like a sit, sit down, down restaurant. Yeah. Um, went to like some bowling alleys and stuff. But their uh, menus were hella different too. Very different. A lot of fish and stuff on the menu. Really? Um, they also had like a, uh, it's like a super or a Mega Mac or something like that. It was like a giant Big Mac. I really wanted to get That's it. That's surprising. Yeah. That's surprising. Right? Surprised you didn't get it. No, those people ate. Those people are skinny, but those people eat, dude. They eat a lot, <laughs> like all the time. I mean, and I don't, we, I don't know if that we was just, eat a lot. I don't know if that was just because like we were there and they were going to be like, oh yeah, like just overfeeding us. But we had like, we had have like a triple header one day and like play, you know, back to back to back to back, and in between games they'd be like, oh McDonald's, <laughs> like, oh, man, I just had that for breakfast. I don't need it again. <laughs> like oh. Don't need it for the fucking third apple, time of the apple. day. <laughs> Man. So, they're, the, like, your host families are going to these games? Yeah, because their sons were playing against us. Oh. Wow. oh. Yeah. yeah, we were playing against them. And then... Um, so, were, were you living with the same kid that you were going against? Yeah, I actually... Um, so, the other three host families I stayed with, um, I still write two of the host families, like, every Christmas. That's so, dope. I probably should be getting a card here soon from one of them. It always oh, gets wow. sent to my parents' house. Don't get any money. They send you any Christmas gifts? No, they send us like a fucking. That's bullshit. They send us. <laughs> no, they send like little trinkets and stuff, but they always send like a. It's like a you gotta like decipher their code because obviously they just. Dude, do they it, should like, send me like off. a minimum of two hundred dollars. <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> they did. I mean, that's fucked up. Clearly, they don't they don't like America? So <laughs> no, they really <laughs> like us. Is the problem. Um, Money doesn't say it. I'm scared of us. Fucking no more bombs, please. <laughs> We're asking <laughs> nicely. <laughs> um, no, they send like little For trinkets money. and stuff, and <laughs> it's like a little hidden message you gotta try to decipher because they try to write it in English, you know? Because they just you could tell it's just like straight Google Translate or whatever, and you're like, uh huh. Hope well for you this upcoming season. Like, huh, <laughs> yes, yes, okay. <laughs> and it's, it's like, like, dude, I don't, I don't play baseball anymore. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> they're like, uh, they send like a little picture of their kids and the family. It's like, oh, Futo is very big nowadays. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> nice, nice. Futo has girlfriend. <laughs> that was actually last year's last winter. It was a picture of uh, one of the kids' names. His name was Futo, and it was him with his girlfriend, his little Asian girlfriend. I'm like, fuck yeah, dude. Futo's <laughs> moving up in the world. He's getting that after kid, it. That kid that played that Futo kid, he's actually playing college baseball over in Japan. I don't really know what the college baseball atmosphere is. Interesting. But they do have like a whole, um, like a like a league, a Japanese baseball league. Obviously, we MLB pulls some like top players from there. But I remember their top team was like the Tigers or something like that. And dude, they get into it. Their games are their baseball games are like soccer games. Oh, like really? National League soccer games, like constant, yeah, yeah. constant cheering, like Venezuelas and shit. Just oh, that's cool. That's yeah, cool. Like they're they're really intense on their stuff over there. I like that. I another, like that because I I see baseball as such a relaxed sport, you right? Know? And that's it what is and, until the fucking playoffs. Yeah, honestly, then the playoffs. That's when it gets. But their their games every game intense. is just like people just rah, like getting after it all the time. I know that's it's, it's like cool. a football game. Everyone's like it's almost yeah. like annoying. Yeah, but it. I mean, it's just a such it's a cool atmosphere. It's awesome. Um, yeah, another really weird thing that we did over there is they do uh, morning stretches. Like, the whole town comes over, like, an intercom at, like, 8.30 in the morning or something. And uh, so we'd be waking up, and it was really hot. It was over the summer, so it was, like, 90s the whole time we were there. And they're eight. they don't have great A.C. either. So you're, like, you're living off what you got. And like, there's an A.C. unit in the window in the next room. You're not sleeping with any blankets tonight. Just try not to sweat your ass off all night. And you wake up in the morning just covered in sweat. It's, like... I know I'm making this sound like terrible third world country. It's not. But it <laughs> yeah, yeah. Did you have a worse experience? I mean, no. my God. No, I'm just saying. Like, I mean, this they don't have giant homes, and they already had like a family of with like four kids, and now they got stuff like two big ass American baseball players in there. No, to feed them and everything. So they're well, like, trying you to were find number ten, you. so you were the. I was number nine. Wait, wait. I don't understand the the morning stretches. Just yeah. everybody, comes everybody over, comes, comes out. Over intercom, like everybody's coming out of their houses and they like meet in the square. It's just right in front of your house, and you got the neighbors there, and like they're like doing these stretches. So me and my friend Justin that I was rooming with, we we're just like, all right, we'll just follow them, like touch your toes, whatever. 
It's even like the elderly people. Everybody was out there doing their morning stretches. Then, all right, it's over. Go on with your day. But that was just like how wake, they started. Wake their up, day. get loose, and let's go. Every day, literally. Not Interesting. Kidding. Yeah, it was crazy. Love it. Yeah, it was a wild time. I don't know if I would love that or hate that. I think it, I think I'd love it if I did it for like a week. But like, oh. if, if you know, if you're like two yeah, years can, into that, it's I like, go fuck this. Imagine, like, imagine the eighty-six year old lady that's like, oh god, touch my fucking toes. I've been doing this for fifty <laughs> years. <It's> like, <laughs> dealing with this fat American that has to come in my house. <laughs> fat American <laughs> pigs. <laughs> um, no, it was a great, it was an awesome experience, and um. I tried out for the team again the next year and made it. We were going to go to Australia that year. Oh. But the Australia chip was going to be over. I was going to miss, like, two weeks of football practice, and I was going to miss my first week of high school because I was going to be a freshman. My parents totally shut it down. It also cost a ton of money. I was about to say money, too. Yeah. Um, Well, we had to fundraise most of it, but my, like, to go over to Japan was, like, $2,000-something, and then there was, like, another – there's some more money that we had to pay because also when we came back from Japan, a bunch of Japanese players. That was an international tournament. We didn't just play Japan. We played like European teams. We played like a South American team. Oh, that's cool. Team, you guys probably all like team. got your asses kicked, didn't you? No, we took second. The the Japan had like six teams there, and Japanese baseball is a lot different too. Oh yeah, because they play with a, a kinko ball. It's called a kinko ball. It's like a little rubber ball. It's a little bit smaller. Mm. And I was a pitcher, so I was loving it. I was just shit whipping fastballs past these Japanese kids because I'm playing with a ball that I'm used to. Usually, that's you know maybe a quarter heavier than what this one is. Yeah, and yeah. So I'm, it's a little bit smaller, so I had better grip. So, but they play with those balls because it was supposed to be safer. But because mm. it was I, so, I I did not know that. Yeah, they play with those balls because it's what's supposed the to be material safer. like? It was like a rubber. It was almost like a lacrosse ball. Like I'm, a, I'm imagining a almost like a racket like a ball. ball. No, like a ho- like a hollow lacrosse ball. And um, oh, interesting. So okay, in the summer, okay. it's really hot and it skips like a lacrosse ball. So it would that second bounce, it would take one bounce up, and that second bounce would almost have top spin. You know? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So it's coming at you quick. Yeah. So the way the Japanese played baseball is almost like softball, like a hit and run every time, like slap, just, just get slap on, get on the, the ball ground into the ground. And they were all pretty fast too. So we kind of had to adjust to that to play that way, but um, when it gets cold, they can't play that way. Is the thing, but the region that they were in never really got that cold. So, but yeah, that kinkle ball, fucking in fifty degrees, that thing is a dud. And ninety-five degrees, what we're playing in, that thing is just skipping all over the place. And that was tough to, to like kind of get used to, but. It was also really hard to hit contact wise. Like nobody's hitting like over the fence home runs. If you're getting a home run, it's because the grass is dying in the outfield and you put one in the gap. If uh-huh. you were able to get it in the park, oh, the the ball didn't carry very well. It was hard to hit it on a sweet spot. You're mm. either popping it up or you're shooting it into the ground. Interesting. Interesting. Japanese baseball for you. That's what I got. Yeah, I've never heard of this before. Yeah, I know the most similar thing I can think of is there are these things I'd never seen them until I went to Chicago, but they were called Brazilian balls, but they were more so just to help your technique. It was like a training kind of ball. Mm-hmm. That's wild though that they switched up the sports. Almost like uh, or switched up the rules of the sports. What's like that indoor soccer? What's it called? Futsal. Like? Futsal. Futsal. So was that Brazilian ball almost like a futsal or what? Similar. It was like actually rubber though. Oh. Kind of like you were describing. Okay. And it, it just doesn't – It's and it was smaller as well, so it was harder for people to juggle a lot of. Mm-hmm. So that was, like, the main thing. It was, like, to help you with your touch. You had to be, yeah. like, a little bit more precise and right. just focus, like, a little bit yeah, more. Yeah, really fine-tune you. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. I think it might, that might have been, like, one of the things with the kinkle ball, too. You know, once you finally step up into using that leather-wrapped ball, you know, it's a different game. If you're hitting that kinkle ball square, you could really hit a real baseball square. So – so you think it's harder with the kinkle ball? Yeah, one hundred percent. One hundred percent. It was just it was just a whole different style to the game. It was small ball. All of it was small ball. Right, bunting you know? speed. Bunting, slap hitting. You're turning those bases as fast as you can because you don't know if there's going to be an Where error. Where the ball's going? Or not. Yeah, or if it's going to skip on you and take a nasty hop. It was, was kind of wild. I like that word kinkle. Kink, kinko. Kinko. Kink, oh, kinko. 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 Ball. kinko. K-E-N-K-O. Kinko. Kinko. 
Never knew that. And they also had Kingo bats. And you could not hit a real baseball with a Kingo bat because it will shatter. It had, like, glass particles and stuff. It was what? Glass particles. Because it bounced better with the rubber. I mean, we had our so real. Did you guys have to use the Kinko bats? So we or? had real bats that we brought over there, but I think almost nobody used them. We bought, like, when we got over there, we bought, like, three bats for the team to use while we were there. And, I mean, some people use, like, their own wood bats and stuff, but I think mostly people were using the Kinko bats. Kinkos. And I bought, like, a sick glove while I was over there. I spent, like, 12,000 yen on a sick glove. 12 yen. 12,000. Well, how much is that? Is that is like that a lot of money? It's like 120 bucks. Oh, okay. About. Still a lot of money, yeah. Yeah, and I bought this sick glove while I was over there, and that's like, I've got that at my house with a Kinko bat, and like, I've got a, a, a case with like all my Kinko balls and stuff, and I got like one Kinko ball signed like by the whole Japanese team and stuff. Oh, that's and pretty cool. Yeah, it was really cool. I was fucking. Did you guys do anything like going out at night? No, or, I almost, mean, like, obviously not, like, going out drinking we were there or anything for, like that. Like, yeah. So we were there for 10 days and 9 nights, and we played, like, 15 games, 16 games in that period. Damn, that's a pretty good amount of games right there. Yeah, and we had three free days, too. And how, how long were you there? 10 days and 9 nights. Did you do any traveling? Like, go up to Tokyo again? No, or? we, um, our coaches, they actually, they were kind of dicks. Hey, Huff, like, do you care if I get a puff? <laughs> a <Huffle> puff. <laughs> Thank you. Um, Take it, brother. And uh, my coaches were like, they're kind of dickheads. They're nice and everything. But uh, they went out this one day. They're like, yeah, we're going to climb that mountain. We, like, hired the service and everything to take us up that mountain. So we're going to be gone for the whole day. So just stay with your host families. We're like, all right, this is one of our free days. We're <laughs> supposed to do something we cool. We're going to sit inside now. Yeah, so we, like, hung out with all the, like, the kids in the neighborhood and everything and just, like, went roaming. I remember that day we went and, like, to this old abandoned building and, like, climbed up on the roof. There's, like, a baseball field next to it. So we were playing baseball and, like, went and climbed up on this old abandoned building and was, like, looking around and just doing a bunch of 13-year-old shit that you do. All hood rat shit. Mm -hmm. And then we went to, like, a water park one day, which was kind of weird because it was, like, welcome to the water park. No rules. Don't hurt yourself. It was like it was crazy. Kids were like, no Shit. rules, don't hurt yourself. Yeah, kids were like going down the side. No lifeguard on duty. The the perfect example I can think of. You know how you go down the water slide and people are like, oh wait wait wait. <laughs> kid would go down the water slide. The next kid would be like, oh, fuck yeah, here I come. Like just right after him, you know. And that was kind of wild. And also, they don't really have locker rooms on the water parks. So like, the kids that were there we didn't know the kids we didn't go with our host families we went with the coaches we all pulled up there and they see that we're a bunch of american kids and these kids are just like oh yeah american kids got a change in my swimsuit and they're just getting butt ass naked out Booty in and, naked. and we're like whoa what is going on not cool guy pull the dong put it away <laughs> and not yeah that's that was just how, that's just how it goes that's just how it goes a huge culture shock which was funny because when the japanese kids came and stayed with my family um, we oh they came in, they came to America yeah because well. after we went to Japan we, it was different kids that we had okay but absolutely my family took in we took in three kids for the time that they were here and there was like we had like a free day and um, I don't know if you know what Bluebird Park is no in St Louis it's in like Baldwin but, okay okay so my dad was like well let's just take them to like Bluebird Park up there they got that giant pool and, like, damn now I feel just uncult I feel so uncultured so right, right now right I feel so I mean but I grew up in that city my entire life oh, right. And, but we you took, thought you knew we, something we took you them don't. there, and one of the kids just started doing that. My dad's like, "Whoa, whoa, what is he doing?" I'm like, "Oh, yeah, they do that over there, Dad. Like, you, <laughs> just something they, that they, they just do. Whip their cocks they out of the Yeah, I mean, this kid was like 13. He's you know just getting naked, putting on a swimsuit, but all like the women and like parents that were there are like, "What the fuck, man?" <laughs> <laughs> like looking at my dad, and my dad's like, "I don't know. Like, <laughs> I did not know this was going to your happen." Da your dad was probably joining in once she saw the Japanese <laughs> girls get naked there. He's like, there was no I'm, I'm just doing what they're doing here. Yeah. <laughs> we're in Baldwin, Missouri, and they're 13. <laughs> I don't know about what <laughs> Japanese girls are talking about. I like about. it though. I like it. <laughs> I've, I, my dad's know, a happily married man. We're gonna put that. Down. <laughs> <I love you. laughs> Just throw that out there. Tell he sees the Japanese women. <laughs> no, I mean even the ones. I mean to to go off your point of like right that the twenty year olds look like they're like fifteen too. So, and so. the fifteen look year olds look like they're oh, damn, fifteen. Did your, <laughs> did your thing die? Yeah, it did. I just noticed that as well. 
I just noticed it, it happens like every single time. Yeah, so I'm not stressing it. I got so much battery. True. Oh, yeah. I've, I want to do that whenever I get older. I want to have like a, you know, set up some foreign exchange kind of thing. That'd be creepy, but like just right. to learn about like, what you know, like what they're about. Yeah. I think I mean, like high school kids. I think that'd be cool. Missouri from, State is, does a great job. Of, I mean, think about how many foreign exchange students we so have. Many. Our whole soccer teams. European or something, or from New Zealand, and we have like a, just an absurd amount of Chinese students because we have that sister school in Beijing. True. I mean, I, I think Missouri Missouri State does a great job of it. I mean, I haven't I haven't visited m- many other campuses, but no, they're like one of the biggest schools. That has I would in, imagine in, in, in international college. There's a lot of people that come from overseas. To dude, come to you go Missouri anywhere State. in Springfield, and you will see Asian foreign exchange students. Joe, well, I mean, it'd be, I think it'd be cool to be like a host family yeah. for like some my, kind of program where you get high school students to come through and kind of uh, live with you for maybe a month or two or however long. Uh, absolutely, my fucking uh, my sister when she was in uh, high school, she went to Springfield Catholic here in Springfield, and uh, we had a foreign exchange student that lived with us for like six months. So she came from China, wherever, and then she uh, went to. Springfield Catholic and then she lived, lived with us for like six months, so Wait, where was she from again? China, hey, wait, wait, Japan. Wait, 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 oh, that's pretty up, cool. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to do that so bad. That's I've been great. waiting on the right moment. That's <laughs> fantastic. The, the thing with the uh video camera was off. I was like, all right. <laughs> Perfect time. I wish the video would have seen that because you just even I know, tilted he, the he, mic. He out. put the cam and really pointed it out. Right there. <laughs> yeah, but it wasn't like close. That was a good one. That was a good one. That was a good one. Yeah, Everybody shoot, loves shoot. a good fart. Doesn't matter how old you get. Potty jokes will be funny no matter what. I mean, if you're a boy, Dave Chappelle still does potty jokes. So he just Dave put Chappelle the mic up. Well, he doesn't just fart into the mic. But he makes <laughs> jokes about shitting and stuff. You know, he makes uh, jokes about a lot of things. He does. It's kind of a double He's the standard. OG. That's I, my, that's I feel my bad. favorite comedian. I feel bad because if a girl makes like a poop joke, I'm like, a part of no, me that's is like, gross. You can't. Girls can't make poop jokes. See, that's the difference between you guys and me. I think it's funny. I think it's. I accept no, that it's, girls don't poop. They, they don't. take fat shit. No, they don't. <laughs> girls what, don't what fart. If, nothing. What if a girl is like, like you're meeting this girl for the first time, and and you're like just getting to know her. Maybe she like hangs out, like comes over, hangs out with some of your friends. And this girl's just like, yeah, so I was taking a fat dump the other day. And it's like a really funny story. If it's for the first time, that's not cool. Lay off. I gotta be or, is it, or is it kind of like, damn, this girl's so comfortable. Like, she's so, like, chill about it. Like, that's, there's <laughs> something funny about girl, that. Is this girl a dyke? Like, yeah, 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 true. As I stated before. There's something wrong with this chick. Girls do not poop. Wait, okay, girls? Austin. They don't. They, just, I, they don't poop. I heard they do. Yourself. No, not. They don't. They don't fart. They don't poop. Nothing. Nothing. Okay. Absolutely nothing. It is pee. That's all it is. <laughs> nothing else. We gotta stop talking about pee. Every time we talk about pee, it just reminds myself how much I gotta pee. <laughs> you gotta pee again, dude. We've been getting after it tonight. How, how long have we been going? Oh, I'm talking about. Oh it? shit, we're two hours in. Ooh, really? We're two hours, fifteen minutes in. Yeah. It's been a smooth two hours. It has been. Two and a half. All right, I'm going to go rock a quick one real quick, and uh, you guys want to finish it up after that? Cool. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I was going to say, as long as you guys want to go, I'll, I'll you keep going if you want. A good, like, finishing topic to finish this out. Oh, what should we finish it with? Finisher. Finish her off. Finisher. finish her off. Just like that girl Cra- finished craziest, you off. Craziest sex story. Craziest sex story? That's what we have to do. Because fa- I got crazy ones. Okay, we gotta w- we I gotta wait until McDonald comes down one. here. Yeah. We got, he's got to hear all the the crazy might, sex stories. I might get a little slack from this one. I got a good one. I get, uh, wait, I'm trying to think of my best one. All my best ones are from high school. Like the two that are coming to, to coming to mind. I don't know why they're both from high school. They're both like the I, most ratchet stories. I've got I a have. couple of. Yeah, I've got a couple. I I got a, I got a really good crazy one though. Okay. I just as I don't good, know as good as my is. first uh, time drinking. That oh that okay kind of, yeah. I'm excited. That was to an go experience. I just, I don't I'm I'm almost embarrassed that I explained that story. To be honest, I mean, what was it like following up? So like this, pretty much you get pants. If it say somebody's like heard this part but they didn't hear like your actual story. Right. So you real quick summary. You walk up 
to this girl. I walk into uh, the our friend's room, and he's got a little sister who's a year year younger, and they're all chilling in her room, and I got pissed all over my pants. Walk in, go, yo, Dylan, got an extra pair of boxers I can borrow. Friend comes right behind me, pants me, and my dick and balls are just right in front of the girl's and face. And then Dylan's the one that punched you. And then Dylan, who that sister, turns right around and sees my dick and balls in front of his sister's face, punches me. I stand up, punch him right back. He gets knocked out. And then the girl who Oh, saw, you knocked him out. Knocked him out cold. Oh, on, on no the shit. So his sister saw that and then went to brother-sister mode, slamming the balls, bare, nothing, took my head, knocked me out, slumped me. So she's just hanging out while you're she's hanging out. She's, like, on her phone, chilling. Like, everyone's in the room. Yeah, like, we're yeah. all just, like, playing music, whatever, like, hanging out. She's chilling. I just literally walk in, no intentions. Hey, Dylan, got a extra pair of boxes so I can borrow. Boom, pants. Rise, he turns around, balls. Right. What is she doing face. after this? Like, she's got her brother and her brother's good friend just knocked out. <laughs> knocked out They're cold. Just knocked out cold. Literally, I, well, I mean, I literally was sitting there. Fucking mom comes out. Pants are still at the ankles. <laughs> I mean, we kind of just buffed it out. We're like, yeah, sorry. I don't really. I mean, everyone kind of hit everyone, so. <laughs> That's crazy. She's like, yeah, I'm sorry. I just saw you hit Dylan and. Kind of took over. I'm like, yeah, you pretty much just fucked my shit up. You right there. took over. <laughs> you yeah. took over. Damn straight. <laughs> Couldn't do anything about it. Then, I will of say, course, if, the next story if I the was Dylan day. in that story, I would just strong. I would. I would talk it out. I would have been like, Oh Dude, yeah, we were good. At why? That. Why? Yeah, I mean, no, no. Like Dylan. before, like without just walking up and punching, I'd be like, Dude, why the fuck are your pants down right now? And then yeah, we probably would have oh, came this, to like this is a, all of our first times drinking. It's a good point. Ever. It's a good so point. Very good he point. He turns around and he sees his best friend's balls in front of his sister's oh, mouth. This is what we're back on. I, I don't blame him. I did you know? back in I high school. <laughs> I punched. I punched a good friend of mine in the face and like really, really, like fucked his nose up. Right. And um, oh, potentially, like he was worried about like his nose being broken and what he was gonna tell his parents. But he walked in on me and my ex girlfriend after I told him like three times not to. And we, I like again. This was when I was like trashed in high school. Right, I'm hooking just... up with my high school girlfriend, and he's like, he's he's knocking on the door. I'm like, hey, do not come in here. Do not come in here. I said it like four times, and then he ends up coming in into the room and like walking in on us whenever we're getting dressed, and then that pissed me off, and I ran up and just clocked the guy in the face, cool. which I've I've never really like just punched anybody like that that I can think of. I don't, I yeah, you're very never, never really been in a. Yeah, you're very. So that, passive that is guy. that that is the one fight I've ever been into until this day. No, oh, nice. What do you call until the I got jumped? What? Not really a fight, but I guess. You and I? No, the jumping. Yeah, that when was. When have we fight. ever fought? What? Oh, I was say we just tussled. <laughs> oh, we wrestled that one day. Yeah. Oh my God. So just a I was having. Tussle. I was. I've been having like over the past few months. I've been having like back problems. Um, in the spring. I was deadlifting and I tried to just go way over. I was, you know, Nick Vitea, right? Yeah, yeah. So absolutely. I was working out with him and he obviously deadlifts like, I watched him deadlift like six fifteen one day and I was like, holy oh, shit. He can deadlift that much? Yeah, he's trying to break the Missouri State record for like twenty three years and under at his weight class. And oh it's wow! Like, it was like five ninety five or something or six oh five or something. And he's trying to do like six fifty, and he's, yeah, he's getting there. He's just got to wow. do like an official lift for it. Like, he's Which a big like, guy, but he's not – I didn't realize he was, like, well, that like that still, strong, you know? No, he's very strong. He's wow. He's insanely strong. So he's working. He's waiting until he's, like, 23. He's waiting until he's, like, trying to get the most time out of it as he can because he wants to get to, like, like close to 700. He wants to get, like, 675 or something. So like he's Wait, waiting. wait. Missouri State, like, the university or Missouri – Missouri State, the actual state. Oh, yeah. that's fucking cool. Yeah, like the Missouri record. So he's trying to get that um, – but so I was working out with him and his like, we were doing this plan, and obviously his rep to weight ratio is like a lot different than mine. So he'd be like, "Yeah, we're gonna do uh, four reps today, uh, four sets, four reps at like seventy five percent." I'm like, "Okay, seventy five percent of my max. What's that for you?" He's like, "I'm doing like, uh, four seventy five right now." I was like, mm, "Okay, uh, 
you got that much weight on it just take just take one plate off each <laughs> you know i'm like all right that's like 395 whatever i'll do it for four reps and like that third rep i'm like <laughs> like trying to pull that's it up insane. And something happens in my back i just drop the weight immediately i was like oh god this ain't good and that hurt me for a while my back's i've been having problems since then i'll have it like once every two months i'll just wake up does it fuck I'm, with your golf swing um yeah it will like if that happens i probably won't play golf for like a week but luckily that's only happened once this summer and then it happened uh like two weeks ago and that was bad but the one time it happened really bad over the summer or in august i guess it was we were living together and we went out to the bars that night and i was in such pain we got back from bars i was like guys my back's really hurt and i'm really drunk too it's like i gotta lay down i laid down on their floor and i was like god this feels so good and of course i I fell asleep and I had my shoes on, so that's such a big problem. That Obviously, this guy, you cannot fall asleep. With your I shoes wake on. up completely covered in Sharpie. He, it, uh, with him, he, with he him looks stand- like Darth Maul. He literally looks like Darth Maul. <laughs> I'm him, not even kidding. With him standing over me, just <laughs> drawing. So I he, 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 he kept nudging. I just kept digging in, just like he, fuck it. He's just like <laughs> I look. What I wake up to is just his face over mine, his Sharpie like on my face. I'm like. What the fuck, man? Like, I'm laid down. My back's... I'm hurting. I'm in pain. And I, like, smack him. He's like, oh, you should have fell asleep with your shoes on. I'm like, fuck you. <laughs> Drug him to the ground. I'm on top of him. I got the Sharpie in my hand now. And it's like, uh, you know, when you see, like... What is it? Like, Saving Private Ryan, where he's trying to keep the German... The knife. <laughs> he's like, like oh. he had the Sharpie. And I was like, <laughs> <laughs> it was like that. I had the Sharpie. I'm like, Rrr. Like, trying to push it into him. Didn't get a damn mark on me. Though, yeah, didn't get a mark on him. We're wrestling around. And the reason why I was so pissed off is because I had one of my favorite shirts on. It was this white Old Navy shirt. And the collar, I still have it at your pl- yeah, uh, place. Yeah, because I told him to Inked clean up. it before I get it back. It's your <laughs> fault, not mine. Probably, yeah, my fault because I fell asleep with my shoes on, right? You know the rules. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> and uh, so I was so pissed off because I had this white shirt on, just so white. I've been so good about keeping it clean. The collar's got this sweet like red, white, and blue trim in it on the sleeves, the collar. And I've got Sharpie on it, all over it. And I was so user error. I was so upset with him about it, and he just was like, "Sorry, man, fell asleep with your shoes on," and that just pissed me off even more. <laughs> like I just, I, I just had after we wrestled and everything, and we're like, oh, "Whatever." It was just both like both of us just like flipped each other. I'm like, "Fuck you, fuck you," <laughs> and just did separate it. And the next day, it's like, ah, we both did why did we do that last night? Yeah, <laughs> and then Sorry. we're both, like, bruised up. We're like, fuck, man, why did yeah, we do that? <laughs> Sorry, shit. Yeah. I'm like, my back's hurting, my elbows are bruised. He's like, yeah, man, I got a bruise on my side. We're like, eh. We'll you got to think, I haven't worked out in five years, yeah. so I'm fucking sore as hell. <laughs> and we're looking at each other, sitting there like, eh, you want to play 2K? <laughs> <laughs> 2K solves all problems. How long did it take to get all that Sharpie off? Oh, my God. Oh, not long. He wiped, wiped it all off on his shirt. <laughs> yeah, well, I locked. I ran into his room and locked him out of his room and hopped in his uh, his bathroom. I was just, just, oh, my God. Hot water and soap just all over face, my arms. It was bad. And my neck. I remember I had something on my neck that I didn't see until, like, the very next day. Luckily, I didn't have class or anything. And, yeah, <laughs> it was... I, saw, I caught that one the next day after I'd been, like, walking around in public and I had, like, a dick on my neck, you know. Uh-huh. Yeah. Happens. Oh, that's funny. Yeah. Whatever. All right. Craziest sex story? Let's wrap it up with the last story here. Is that the last one? Yep. Is that what you guys decided on? Oof. I'm down with it. I'm down with Jordan, it. Jordan, why don't you lead us off? Yeah. Craziest lead sex story. Lead us off? Story. All right. I got two. Two of them in high school. I think I'll go with the – I think the one will be a better story overall. They're both pretty decent stories, but I'll, I, we can only share one, and I like this one more. Anyway, we got these two girls. I don't remember how I knew these girls, but one of them, the hotter of the two, ended up hooking up with, like, I, I mean, just over time, like, I'd invite her to hang out with this group of friends, with this group of friends, with this group of friends. She ended up hooking up with, like, three or four of my friends, and myself included. I mean, maybe it wasn't, like, that many, but <laughs> it, it was like a, a fair amount. Woman. Yeah, yeah, right. It was like all the all the friends that I ended up. Uh, and the funny thing about this girl, she would never fuck. She would only suck dick. Nice. So she's like, I'm still a Not virgin. Bad. I'm still a virgin. And I'm like, dude, you've been with like all my friends. 
But uh, these were from like these girls are from like the Parkway, so they're from like oh, the 30, parkways. 40 minutes away from me, something like nice. that. So it's kind of like mysterious for right. them to like get away, and they found these guys that like they get along with at least some of them. It's well funny, my story from also far away. Was a Parkway girl. Par- <laughs> parkway these Parkway is known girls, for it, man. man. Parkway, <laughs> parkway <laughs> South. <laughs> I, yeah, yeah, Parkway <laughs> South. Right, yeah. Let's go. Was her name Sammy? No. Okay, good, good, good. <laughs> we had to clarify. Had to clarify. Anyway, uh, not to name drop. I, Sammy, I'm fine with that. I'm fine with saying it first. Sammy, name. you sound like a great girl. Keep Sammy, get dick. fucked. You just got called out. You got called out, <laughs> Sammy. Keep sucking dick, Sammy. We love you. <laughs> you are officially in his crazy sex story. <laughs> <laughs> so I I, uh, I invite these two girls out to my buddy's house. My buddy, he, his parents are out of town. We're like, let's get fucking drunk. And it's me, one friend, and then two girls. So two guys, two girls. Oh, that's a f- And within within the first half hour of them being there, we were we started just chugging vodka, like chugging vodka aggressively cuz again, like whenever you're in high school, you have that's alcohol you do. You do, and you, you have a free it. house to yourself and two girls like you're you get getting after it. fucked right. up. Take advantage of the opportunity. Absolutely. So we're we're going hard and we had like some sparklers at one point and <laughs> we go outside get sparklers and we're like, "Hey, let's, let's put go this inside." In Jordan's butt. <laughs> shoved up my ass Let's go baby You should have shoved up The girls asses My ass Who is knows? sparkling right now And then we And we're like Let's go play some beer pong Let's go inside Play some beer pong And We end up playing sh- And Somehow we turn it into Strip BP And then So we start um, We start By within probably I would say half an hour Is fair to say Of these girls arriving We are so drunk We are we we had gotten on the sparkler grind, and we were all th- all four naked, butt ass, butt ass naked. naked, all Ooh. four of us, all just our, playing BP. All two of your little at, white pecker sh- <laughs> No, no, it was my it was my black friend, so he had oh, to show so me. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, so so I, d- I just had to you. look like shit. <laughs> you probably had your hands over and just don't exactly look at me, just total I'm, shame. Look at him; he's the one. Don't I'm a grower, him. not a shower. <laughs> It's not about the size of the boat. It's about the motion in the ocean, boys. <laughs> don't look at his. Don't look at his. And if you do look at his, then don't look at mine. Definitely don't look at mine. <laughs> Back to the story. Anyway, anyway. Oh and I'm like homies with this guy, so there's no shame. And also we're fu- like super drunk so like at this point. like you're totally cool that your dick's hella small. Like <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> there's totally no cool. shame. There's no shame. All right, right enough about the dick. So we... Uh, <laughs> I'm just so we, <laughs> so I start making out with whichever girl was sitting next to me or standing next to me. Fours, we were, fives, like it was like eights, him. You name them. It was him and one girl, and then me and one girl playing BP against each other. So I start making out with uh, the one that I'm playing with, and then I, like we switch girls, and then we start making out with like the other one. And my buddy, I don't remember how he ends up to this point, but fast forward like let's say like 15 minutes, things are very sexual at this point. And my buddy's sitting on the couch, and he goes, and my my friend is like the most laid back, chill black dude, and he looks up at me, and he's like, "Bro, I got whiskey dick. You can uh, you can just have them both." And I was oh. like, "Oh shit! Oh shit! Shit just got real, man." So again, Sammy, anonymous Sammy, she um from Parkway South. From Parkway South. <laughs> Anom- she, anonymous. I knew she would only, like, Graduate suck dick, so I'm like, okay, no worries. So what Last I'm name. doing is I am – I have them both, like, laid on their backs side by side, like, spread leg. Oh, and I'm humping them. Like, no penetration. I'm humping with my bare dick on their bare vagina and then fingering the other one. And then oh, Sammy, who is, like, definitely the hotter of the two, ends up – passing out and puking as well Ooh. on the carpet so then i'm like oh shit all right now i got just, one i got one it's down to one she tapped out isaiah tapped out i'll clean this up later <laughs> yeah i worry <laughs> worry about that later i gotta close and, and then um so i take the other one upstairs with like the intentions of like definitely doing something like actually have some penetration and we <laughs> So we we I take them I take her upstairs, and we get like a we have like a, the guest bedroom which is where I would always stay whenever I stayed at my buddy's place. So we have our own private room, and she's blowing me, and 
she I, I don't know if I grabbed her head and did like the classic like push push the head right. down a little yeah. bit. Oh no. I love how you got in. You, you've been in that oh, situation. No. Yeah. Right there, yeah. Uh I don't know if I did that or if she just tried to, you know, maybe she was an ambitious gal and just tried to push herself. Either way, gag reflex triggered. Oh. <laughs> Puked on my dick. Oh, oh no! no. no. <laughs> You're making that. Oh, and boy. just gags all over my dick. And I mean, at I'm least like, it means oh. you got a semi big cock. Damn, right? mine's yeah, right. It, it, my, yeah, it's what it has to be. It's like it. it my, my or a dick's... shallow gag reflex. <laughs> <laughs> what does it do? What Maybe a hybrid. Do? We'll go with that hybrid. We'll just, so we'll meet somewhere in the middle. Right. Meet somewhere in the middle. And uh, I just look at her, and again, like, my friend was so relaxed, and he kind of rubbed off on me with, like, how relaxed he was and, like, how laid back of an individual he was. And I just look at her, I'm like, I ain't even mad. And then, uh, <laughs> I don't remember going. how the night Ew. finished, but <laughs> as far as, like, the sexual the interactions. with you not finishing. With yes, <laughs> exactly. Puke on your penis. Yeah. I don't remember uh, how I went about washing it off. I don't remember. No, you didn't. I don't you, know if we, like, slept bed. together at that point. I, I have no idea. But oh, man. I've luckily not been scarred with that Connor, you situation. mean next. Um, I can go next if you want. Damn, that's rough, Jordan. Yeah. <laughs> um, mine's not gross. Mine's actually kind of like a, yeah, go Connor story. But um, down at the lake. Lake of the Ozarks, um, just right after Cameron Bagley passed. Oh, uh, yeah. So, like, I was pretty torn up, and uh, my parents knew that. And they're like, hey, why don't you invite some of your friends down to the lake, and you guys can invite whoever you want. You can bring, like, six, seven, eight people down. I'm like, all right, cool. That's a solid number. So I invited, like, me, Alec, Ty, Steve, and Sam Carter. Oh, that and sounds then, like a fun yeah, we group. Yeah, a good group. And then that's the old boy group, right? Yeah. Hey. And then uh, a bunch of girls came down and met us down there, and um, we're like hanging out with these girls. Everything we did, went out a whole day, like uh, coving out on the boat and everything with my parents. My parents were like, "Hey, trying to make us feel better. Like, hey, liquor, liquor, liquor. Here's more liquor, liquor, liquor. You guys bought beer, but we got more liquor, liquor, liquor. Just shoving it down our throats." And we're fucked up. We went out to some bars and shit. Came back. Sun's going down. We did like a little campfire right down there at the bottom of my lake house right before the dock. My parents were like, hey, we're going to bed. See you guys later. It's like 10 o'clock at this point. And we stayed down on the dock just getting after it. We had a couple more bottles of uh, booze and a bunch of beer left. So we're getting after that. Just rolling around probably like 1 in the morning. Everybody's getting pretty tired. People are going up to sleep. And I am pretty fucked up at this point. Everybody is. And there's this one girl that I've been, like, kind of, like, talking to the whole day. And I knew her from before. And we started, like, making out and shit. I'm like, all right, this is awesome. My dad's boat is in the dock, in the slip. My dad has two boats. He's got, like, a bass fishing boat. And he's got, like, a go-fast boat. It's, uh, it's like, a 34-foot uh, with twin-end boards. Pretty sick boat. But... I was like, you want to get in the boat and fuck? She's like, yes, that's awesome. I was like, all right. And she's like, yeah, but not while it's raised up on the fucking uh, lift. She was like so picky about that. She's like, I want it to be in the water. Interesting. Like, oh, yeah, Interesting. I, was like, I was like, all right, whatever. So I lowered the lift down, threw her ass in there, and I got in there. And I'm like, just, boat falls out. I'm just running around on my dock butt naked, which I would never do. Like, right now, I mean, maybe if I was in the same state, but I'm just, like, running around there all giddy. and Like, oh, my God, yes, this is awesome. Lowering the boat, <laughs> just butt-ass naked, hop in there. And I'm having sex with this girl on the boat. I'm like, this is fucking awesome. Never thought I would do this. <laughs> and, uh, he was, he, like, you didn't, I didn't see it, obviously, because my act actually back was to the house, of the, the lake house. I'm looking out over the water. And I'm, like, fucking oh, this boy. girl. I'm like, this is awesome. <laughs> Hey, Connor, are you down there? <laughs> like, from the top is my mom. Like, oh, shit, shit. <laughs> like, throwing clothes on. Like, my underwear and pants are on the dock. Oh. And I'm, like, in the boat. You could see me, like, just jumping, stumbling out of the boat, like, getting my clothes on. Yep, I'm, <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm here. I was, oh, <laughs> and we were like, oh, fuck, we got to go up there. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Wait a little bit. Went up to the top. And my, my mom's already back in bed and everything. And <laughs> just, like. 
we were just like, all right, let's everybody just go to bed. Half the people are passed out already. It's like almost two by this time. Um, like, all right, I'm going to bed. Ended up passing out in the basement. We had like a split section. And then the next morning, breakfast with everybody that's at my house. <laughs> that nine people, or me and my eight friends, and <laughs> my two parents. And I'm sitting next to my mom at breakfast. And people are getting up, and I'm, like, helping clean the dishes and everything. And my mom comes over, and I'm, like, cleaning dishes. So she's like, so, what would you do last night? <laughs> like, fuck. <laughs> she's like, uh, you know, we're just hanging out on the dock. She's like, oh, really? Went down there um, just naked doing something I wouldn't approve of. <laughs> I'm like, oh, oh my boy. God. My mom saw me have <laughs> sex <laughs> in my dad's bones. <laughs> I was like, fuck. I've never wanted my mom to see me have sex in my life. And it happened <laughs> and she saw at the it. ripe young age of 20 years old. <laughs> what? Wait, oh, your, your, your mom was 20 years old? <laughs> Why? How would you get that? And young. I was all right. Back to it. <laughs> <laughs> that is definitely one of the most like embarrassing but most like accomplishing like sexual fuck, sexual dude. conquests I've had in my life. Cause in the <laughs> moment I was like, fuck yes, this is something I've always wanted to do. Finally doing it. I'm fucking Get caught in by your a mom. boat. And it ends with my mom seeing me have sex <laughs> with this girl in a boat. Did you did you think you had made it like without being seen? Oh, I thought I was like <laughs> getting around on the dock. The lights are dim. <laughs> no, the lights are great down there. <laughs> and I guarantee, I don't think she saw me having sex with this girl, but I think she, she knew definitely saw me running, jumping out of the boat, Naked, running get- to my pants, all frantic, like uh, hammered, <laughs> running in the patio chairs and stuff. Just yeah, great time. Honestly, would the do it one right there. Wouldn't do it again if my parents were not as <laughs> late. <I'd>, wouldn't change <laughs> the thing, huh? Wouldn't change a thing. Mems. All right. Well, <laughs> fuck, that's a good story. That's All a good right. story. Next, <laughs> next one, huh? Yes, here comes it. mine. So. All right. So I can't name any names, obviously. So I, uh, I work with this girl, and I met her. <laughs> 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 you know, I met her that met met her that day. And uh, we were uh, hitting it off, to say the least. You know, just really just vibing with each other. This is at work? Yeah, at work. Wait, and, is it uh, a customer or a co-worker? She's a co-worker. So we okay. work serve. I'm like, yeah, it's a co-worker. So, um, <laughs> <laughs> so I'm um, like, throughout the day, we're pretty much like flirting pretty hard. Like, you know, we're vibing and everything. And I'm like going to her Facebook profile and like I do a quick little, you know, Facebook scam. I start scrolling through her Facebook profile pictures. I'm like, oh my god! I'm like, did you did you uh, did you used to date uh, so and so? She's like, oh no no no! Like yeah, like like we we live together, but we're like we're just friends. Like it's it's nothing. I'm like, hmm, okay. sounds kind of sketchy, but uh, interesting. Yeah. I'll, I'll roll with it. She's oh. like, yeah, like like we used to date, but like we we're, it's it's nothing right now. All so right, I, I'm gonna interrupt real quick. I thought this story was gonna be a. So this man loves his coworkers very much. Because <laughs> I thought the story was going to be about a completely different coworker. <laughs> I now know that it's about this other one. Wait, which story were you thinking of? Uh, I thought good. this was going to be a story about OG coworker and not about the most recent coworker. Anyways. <laughs> <laughs> Dipping the pen in the company so, ink. This guy loves missing, mixing business with So, <laughs> we vibe it off, and uh, <laughs> so she, like, snaps me right after we get off work. She goes, hey, uh, you want to come over and get that pen that uh, you you let me borrow? I'm like, not where this is going. I'm like, yeah, how about you uh, come over and check my, check out my new place? She's like, okay, well, like, you can't tell anyone. Like, blah, 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 you can't tell anyone this or that. So, comes over to my place. I'm like, yo, so you and, like, uh, this dude, like, you guys are, you guys aren't, like, dating or anything, right? Like, you, know oh, the, no. you know this dude, right? I went to high school with this guy. Yeah. Oh, okay. So we're friends. Yeah. So I'm like, you guys are, like, clean. She's like, yeah, 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 dude, just don't tell anyone. We're good. I'm like, so deed goes down. Everything goes down. So here's where the, here's. She also. Here's where the, well, explain, no, like, explain I'll, I'm gonna the I'm going to get to it. I'm going to get to it. Explain the details. I'm going to get to it. Everything. I, Everything starts going Ours around. Were very detailed. Everything starts going. 
And uh, so, was, like, first of all, she started to say, hey, do you have a condom? I'm like, fuck no, I don't have a condom. I never fuck with a condom. <laughs> yeah, life. safe sex, that. gay sex. She's like, you've been I was like, you've been checked? She's like, yeah, you're claiming. She's like, you've been checked? Yeah, yeah, good, all right. Start banging out. So, fuck for, like, probably like 30 minutes. She starts uh, sucking me off for a little bit. Congratulations on 30 minutes. <laughs> yeah, congrats, congrats. It was probably longer. I'm just trying to lowball myself. Uh, but. Uh, <laughs> so, so <laughs> she starts sucking me off. I'm like, damn, you get some good head. And she's like, really? I'm like, yeah. I'm like, I'm about to come. She's like, really? I'm like, yep. She keeps sucking. I'm about to come. About to come. Here it comes. She starts sucking. Literally hops onto my dick and puts my dick into her pussy and makes me blast right inside of her. What? Swear to God. What? I'm not making it up. What? I literally am not making it up. And I literally we came call her, right we call inside her. her. Come rape girl. I came right. I <laughs> come literally came girl. right inside her and I push her off. I go, what the fuck was that? She goes, yeah, I'm just into it. I'm like, you're on birth control, right? She goes, no. I'm like, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> How many months ago was this? Was what? this more than nine months this ago? Is, this late, was in late, August. Late August. <laughs> no. August. Two days no! Before we <laughs> no. So I'm freaking out. I'm like, what the fuck? Are you kidding me? You just raped me. So I was, yeah, I'm just into that. She's so like, we can just buy Plan B tomorrow. I'm like, no. Like, what? Are you talking about? Like, no, I gotta no. spend fifty fucking dollars. Right, and so she literally rape came me like fuck, and then rape come girl. We fuck again. Rape come girl. And <laughs> at that point, it's like fuck. Marty I love this, the name. <laughs> Marty, this far might as well blast in again. You know, fucking so just launch another one in there. <laughs> she's, she's begging me to, and fuck. So blast in obviously girl, i'm freaking out she's girl. like oh my god you don't have anything to worry about like we can get tomorrow like might as well do it again i'm like you are a crazy fucking bitch jesus christ so i have to the next day i'm like yo uh you boys a little short on money you're gonna have to buy that plan b <laughs> i'm like you raped me so i'm definitely not buying that it's all on you <laughs> so she bought it second one's on me first one's she, on you we'll sweat. she bought it <laughs> she took it next day her uh person that she lives with that wasn't her boyfriend messaged me on instagram goes hey bro uh see you around fam i go what are you talking about bro i like uh, obviously i knew what he was saying but it's like my bad dog literally had no idea like I had no idea. He also no started it off with calling you bro and fam. No idea. You guys were fucking. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. Good no, point. You guys good were point. He goes, all right, bro. He goes, all right, bro. See you around, fam. Then I'm like, all right. At that point, I'm like, all right, G. I'll see you around. I'm like, he's a scrawny ass bitch. You come at me, I can fucking get that dude. Next day. Well, I thought you were friends with this guy. I was. Okay. But like, if you're gonna come at me, I didn't know. I didn't know it was his girlfriend. His <laughs> come girl, at me, bro. His girlfriend told me that they weren't fucking doing anything. I snapped. So I snapped her the next day. I'm like, you didn't fucking him or dating and she goes i told you it was a complicated and not to say anything so i'm like jesus fuck you no you got, didn't you said we'd you, live together you got me into this now <laughs> jesus christ the next day after he talks shit saying he's gonna beat my ass comes at me hey bro sorry i came at you sideways like apparently i'm not i've been not giving her enough attention like so it's it's kind of like my fault so somehow she <laughs> turned it around on to him and it was his fault and now she's got me blocked he's got attention. me blocked Anytime what? she has to work, he has to. She has to let him know whenever we work together. No way, really. I, I, she I, switches her work I've, shifts around that so I've that she doesn't sense. work with us. Oh, she's no got, fucking she, she's, way. Literally, he made me. He has me blocked on everything, and she's got me blocked on everything. Like they're like he made her block. And this everything. girl initiated everything. Everything. Oh my like, god, dude, she girls is the one are crazy. That, like she that, is the man. one that That's wanted to come over. I didn't snap her. She goes, "Hey, I still have your pen. You want to come over and get it?" Like, a pen. A, I'm going to see you at work probably in two days. Yeah, I'll see you tomorrow. And I go, no, wait, you're wait, like a writing pen, right? A now. writing pen. You're a, a server. Literal literal pen. You're a server. You probably I have, have 15 I have 14 them. Yeah, right? pens. I don't need yeah. that pen right now. She goes, hey, you want to come get that pen? I'm like, oh, uh, yeah, if I need it. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, rape come girl. Rape come girl is her name. Because she did. She was sucking me off, and I go, I'm about to come, and then she hopped right. Oh, really? She hopped, <laughs> on, she hopped on faster than a kid riding his first roller coaster. I kid you not. <laughs> I swear to fucking God. <laughs> it's honestly kind of like a double-edged sword, you know? It's like seeing your fucking mother-in-law driving off a cliff in a Cadillac, you know? You got mixed feelings. Where'd you hear that from? <laughs> Twitter. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> was mixed feelings, though. It's because, like, 
I blasted her and it was sick. I've never blasted at a girl before. Raw. Huh? This is hitting me so hard. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Well, hell of a podcast. All right. Should we wrap it up? Yeah, let's wrap it up. Because I'm curious about something. So, right, no, we cool. can keep talking. Oh, no, that's good. We it, is, it is 1.06 in the morning. This was pretty good. Podcast, I think. I don't know. You I enjoyed this. I, I thoroughly enjoyed it. Yeah. No, no, this is like this was a lot of fun. This is this flew by. We had a one lot of the better, of one of the better ones you had, or a lot of stories, a lot right. of stories. Honestly, like people have asked me that, I don't compare them. Like I, I yeah. just can't get because like this is They're all so different. different than like asking the questions, sitting someone down, or like something some like pe- some are kind of like deeper, some are really good. Like I thought this was a really fun one. Like, right. this was a lot of fun. We and just kind of all like, connected and talked. And, and like, I don't have a preference around. over, like, a, you know, like, a good conversation or, like, if it's funny or if it's and also, raunchy. Also, or... me- remember, this was kind of our, like, censored version of this <laughs> Like, we could have yeah, some Yeah, we could have got, got gotten ba- <laughs> We could have gotten in dirty. But I honestly <laughs> kind of regret saying the last thing I said. I, I feel mean, like that's going to come yeah, back to haunt me. No, I don't think it will. But there's definitely might. some things that, like, I've said something throughout the podcast. I'm like, ooh, maybe, like. Future reporter down the line Google's my name or something like what comes <laughs> up. But I mean, not that I'm really worried about. But uh, there's some definitely things that me and Huff definitely could have talked about, and you and me from like when the time period that you know me early, whew, like there was some crazy. I shit mean, just pledgeship in general. Pledgeship in the year oh, you guys were pledge brothers. When I was living in the Cap Sig house. There was some crazy I didn't, shit. That I did not know you guys about. were uh, pledge brothers. Yeah. Dope. Yeah, thanks for having us, bro. Yeah, this Hell was yeah. fun. I really I enjoyed, enjoyed it. it. Yeah, I enjoyed this too. I'm this is to, fun. Uh, down to fucking do it again. This is one of the longest ones. This is one of the longest ones. Really? Really? Yeah. But say two forty nine. We were talking for a while. Like we're close so. to three hours. Fuck. Sweet. Hell yeah. Oh yeah. Well, fucking love it. Should we click uh, end? Cut her off. All, All right. right. Hey, we're one more thing. Go Chiefs, baby. Let's go. Shout <laughs> out our boy right here with the podcast. We got Connor on the mic. We got Huff. And we outie, baby. Let's go. All right, Connor out. Go Cards.